One more a month to the month jar. Seven months, let's go, fat boy, cool. Hello, hello, hello. Happy Sunday, happy Sunday. How's everyone doing? Hello. Hi. I accidentally Hi. forgot to cancel my tier three, so I've got another month of frat boy thirst who knows. Oh my god. Thanks for being such a great streamer for all Please cancel it. Here's to another only, five months. <laughs> only tier three if you want to. Thank you so much, Walter. Happy to sub for another month of chill and positive streaming and community. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. I'll, I'll get the thank yous in a sec. I am a little sick still. <clears throat> I didn't stream yesterday because I was feeling kind of crummy. And I can't exactly say that I feel any better today, but you know what? We're doing it. We're doing it live. I have some Coke Zero. Because <clears throat> I ate some Wendy's breakfast earlier. <sighs> you know, well, <laughs> it happens. It's fine. Let's, uh, let's turn on my face. Whoop. Hello. <laughs> I'm not that sick. I just, I just kind of feel a little crummy. But I had to ham it up because it's for stream. <clears throat> I'm not like, I'm not on my deathbed or anything. <laughs> uh, it's just, um, my, my throat is sore and I don't know why. I don't know how I could have gotten sick. I have no idea. I barely see anybody, like not even my parents these days. I'm basically home alone constantly in complete isolation. How did I get sick? Who got me sick? <laughs> um, um, um. The only way I really could have gotten sick is if someone handled my food that they that I got delivered that got me sick, but I'm not even sure if that's like that likely. So I, I don't know, it's a mystery to me. I don't understand. Oh my gosh, well Pipe Train, Chris. thank you! <clears throat> thank you for the pets. You're petting the ice pack. I don't think I have a fever. I'm not actually sure. Well, I do feel a little warm, but I don't think I have a fever. I don't feel like I have a fever. I just feel like a little fatigue. And my body's a little achy. My achy, breaky back. And my throat hurts. <clears throat> it sucks. But it's okay. <clears throat> oh, you're renewing the ice. Thank you. <laughs> so, apologies if I'm a little sluggish today. But I wanted to stream because I didn't stream yesterday and I miss everybody and I want to stream. And I want to play some video game. Get my mind off of things. 
Hmm. I'm flying over to the Atlantic right now, so I can't watch. Have a good stream. Oh my gosh. Have a good flight, Panda. Thank you for, thanks for popping in. I love your outfit. You did a good job. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and you want to see the full outfit? Why is it so quiet all of a sudden? What the heck? Can you hear that? Okay. I, I, I I've never really drawn leather before, so I can't really, uh, I don't know if I did a good job, but here's my outfit. It's based off of Flick from Animal Crossing. <laughs> it's Flick's outfit. See? More than Chris like the outfit. Ah, uh, thank you, Elicity. Thank you. It's not Punk Chester. Is Flick Punk? I guess Flick is a little punk. Hmm. Oops. My thermometer got really big. Do you do you mind if my if I put the big thermometer in? Rah, rah, rah. <laughs> um. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Uh let me get the thank yous. And then we'll start the game. How does that sound? I don't- I wish there was a better angle on this thing. It's like kind of a weird angle. It's like sliding off of my face. <clears throat> you don't have Flick's choker? Right! Flick has a choker! Mine- Uh... <laughs> uh... Maybe- maybe it's time to bring this back. What do you think? It doesn't really fit, though. <laughs> what do you think? It's a little too small, right? I wish I could transform it. It doesn't really work. I, I have, my neck is too floofy. It doesn't work. It's not quite right. It doesn't work. I don't... <laughs> Can this be like an earring? I always wanted like a cool earring, but I, I'm I'm too baby to get one. How's that? Ah, <laughs> uh, that let me. Or what about a nose ring? Hmm. Huh? What about a? What about a? What about a? Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe that's a bust. Okay. <laughs> I'm like sipping on this coke just to like alleviate the nastiness. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Like, it's like nice to have something cold. <clears throat> All right, let's get to the thank yous. Ah, <sighs> let's see. Starting from the bottom, we got uh, Zeus. Zeus, thank you so much for the Prime resub. Thank you. Zeus says beans. Beans. And uh, Waste, thank you so much for the resub. Holy cow, Waste. <laughs> Seven months. Wow, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Shout out to Waste. Everyone pet the mods. Uh... Aw, oh, thank you so much for the hype train, everybody. I really appreciate it. Level 2, level 2. Okay. Hot Pie, thank you so much. Thank you for the 7 months also. Wow, 7 months. I... I say this every time it says 7 months, but... 7 months is a really long time. Thank you so much. Thank you, Hot Pie. And... <laughs> Walter, thank you again for the tier 3. Please, go into your settings right now and... Make sure it doesn't renew. <laughs> Do that for me, please. Uh, Rackalack, thank you so much for the Prime resub. And Fonzie Cat, thank you for the Prime. Welcome, welcome. Bromo the Fox, thank you so much for the resub. Thank you, Bromo.
<clears throat> Pardon me. Mm. Sleepy Techno Kid, thank you so much for the for the sub. Welcome, welcome. And Elicity, thank you for the resub. And uh, PD Yifu, thank you so much for the gift sub. Thank you. And Zelfrina, thank you for the prime. Uh, summer has come at last. Seven months has gone by so fast. Yeah, I started last summer and it's summer again. Isn't that crazy? That's crazy. <clears throat> oh my gosh, being sick is lame. Are you sick? Yeah, I'm a little sick. I'm a little sick. I look sicker than I am just because of my outfit. My outfit is sick, but I'm sick. You know what I mean? Like, I'm sick. Like, sick, bro. <laughs> but I'm also sick, bro. Is the Chestiversary coming soon? Chestiversary is in August. But I don't think people really started following me until, like, November. <laughs> Chester's gonna fucking die, no. No, I'll be fine. I'm not even that sick. It's just... Yesterday I was like, you know, I don't feel like streaming. I'm just too tired and too sick. But I'm not, like... I'm not feeling too awful, just not... Not 100%. You're also sick? Did I get you sick somehow? Even though that doesn't make any sense? Achoo! Thank you, Possum. Thank you. How's it going? Oh my gosh. Uh, this is what peak performance looks like? Really? Do I look like peak performance right now? Okay, okay, okay. Let's play some video game. How's everyone doing? How's everyone's weekend? Yesterday we watched Premiere over at the Discord and that was so nice. I love that movie. It was my third time watching Premiere and it just, it still gives me chills, man. Like, oh my god. I really love Premiere. If you haven't seen Premiere, the movie Premiere, it's spelled P-R-O-M-A-R-E. It's an anime movie by Studio Trigger. It kind of is like a spiritual successor to Gurren Lagann, Kill a Kill. It's kind of got some BNA in there just because they had, they kind of got like, they, they kind of got a little bit of a formula, but you know, I think they know it, you know it, you know, everyone's having fun. It's a really good movie. Ah, oh, it's so beautiful. It's so fun. Uh, one of the reviews I read about it described it as pop art because it's got these like polygonal shapes and everything like they, they, they render fire and ice in terms of like triangles and squares and it's infused into the background design and there's just such good choreo like choreography for like the fight scenes and like they integrate 3D into the action so seamlessly and it's very gay and it's very good and i really like premiere and if you haven't seen it yet please watch premiere it's on hbo max and you can also rent it on youtube for like four four dollars thank you for the well wishes thank you i i am doing okay it's just you know like i'm a little tired because of, because of the cold it's good it's good it's a really good movie i promise i promise it's a lot of fun uh it, you know it's one of my favorites like all-time favorite movies uh yeah so if you were there thank you for watching that i i can't use tuturu anymore the website service that i use to 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 do the watch party because they're limiting it to 12 people starting tomorrow and the email that they sent everybody with an account to announce that was like we're doing this for legal reasons and i'm like okay understandable <laughs> uh yeah, so I don't know when the next movie night's gonna be, but I'm sure I could find another web service to do that, and then we could figure it out from there. Cause I really like I really like those watch parties. It's a lot of fun. <clears throat> On a related note, Luca was amazing. I did really like Luca. I uh, I have a lot of opinions, and not, they're not always good good opinions. A lot of times, my opinions come off as pretentious and stupid, which is fair, but. I, I will say more about that on Thursday when I finally do my Pixar tier list stream, the long awaited I lose all my followers stream because my opinions are so controversial. But you know what? They're right. 
I'm just kidding. They're not right. They're just my opinion. <laughs> but yeah, let's do it. Let's do a fucking Pixar tier list on Thursday. How's that sound? And you know what? I'll watch Pom Poco and I'll watch Nausicaa by then. So I could probably also do a Ghibli tier list. It'll be a twofer. The, the big tier list day. The long awaited tier list stream. Thursday is my resub day. Ooh, that's exciting. Thank you, Nandere. <clears throat> I haven't seen Pompoko. I really want to watch Pompoko. And I haven't seen Nausicaa. How do we feel about Nausicaa? Have you watched Earwig? Yes, I hated it. <laughs> I, I didn't really like Earwig. I thought it was kind of irritating. Irritating? Uh, but I really like the credit sequence. I think if you, uh, if you want to watch Earwig- Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if anyone liked Earwig, okay? I'm so sorry. But my favorite part about Earwig was the credits, because the credits had these really cute drawings of the characters just hanging out, and... You watch- like, watching the credits, I, I was like, oh, I kind of get what they were going for. They just failed spectacularly. <laughs> uh, so, you know what? <sighs> God damn it, that movie. <laughs> I will say more on Thursday. <laughs> Earwig was like deadass unfinished. Yeah, like, okay, I have so many bad things to say about that movie, but it really did just end, didn't it? <laughs> like, right when it was like, oh yeah, there could be a bit of a plot here. It's over, enjoy the credits. I'm like, oh shit, these credits are good. Uh, oh my God. I could probably de like, dedicate a whole stream to how much I dislike Earwig and the Witch, but I won't. Because that's no fun, right? <laughs> but I, I didn't like it. What about Wish Dragon? I have not seen Wish Dragon. I, I haven't, uh, I haven't watched it. How do we feel about that? You could try www.costream.com. It's a really good streaming site for anime and other films. Oh, I'll check it out. Thanks, Felicity. Uh, uh, but only if it's full of legal ways to watch things, right? Right? You know? We, we only like legal ways of watching movies. If if it's not legal, then I'm not gonna condone it. And I didn't hear nothing. You didn't hear nothing. Uh, Wish Dragon is really good? Okay, I'll, I'll check it out. I, um... <sighs> I mean, people call me wholesome and, like, positive and shit, but, like, when it comes to movies, I can get very sour, which I try to avoid when I'm on stream. And... You know, I'm sc I'm scared of being too negative. <laughs> uh, should I get into this? I saw um, Over the Moon by Glenn Keane recently, and I really didn't didn't like it. And I'm kind of skeptical of these like China funded movies, where it's like Asian rep, but it's like wholesome family fun, and it's kind of like meant to be like a, you know, like a oh like we love. China and I don't know it just feels a lot of them they kind of still they feel a little like <sighs> they kind of feel a little sterile to me I don't know I, I just, so like when I saw Wish Dragon I, I really like the art style and I like the design of the dragon but I'm scared to watch it because I'm scared that I won't like it because I know it's like it's like one of those movies <laughs> uh so uh, I'll, I'll check it out you know, but I'm, I'm, I don't want to be unfair to it just because there was a, sim you know, like a movie in the same sort of genre. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but I did not, I did not vibe with Over the Moon. All right. <clears throat> I don't mean to be too sour on movies. I, I want to let people watch movies and like them and I don't want to like step on anybody's fun uh but you know what how about this on Thursday I can be as sour as I want <laughs> so if you get upset I'm sorry you can put me on mute I understand you can just close me away put me in a box somewhere lock me away I understand uh <laughs> sour otter Thursday yeah. Uh, okay, let's see. Polly, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome, welcome. And Zolfrina, 
Thank you for the prime. Did I thank you already, Zelfrina? Thank you again. Uh, let's sort by bits as well. Uh, Elicity, thank you for the 100 bits, by the way. Thank you. And Oakley Cord, thank you for the 10 14 minutes ago. All right. Oh, thank you for the pets. Are you sick? I'm a little sick. I'm not like as sick as I look. I just, I'm just a bit sick and I wish I wasn't. All right, why don't we, why is the otter sick? Uh, uh, I wish I knew. <laughs> I don't think there's a good reason. Mm, where's my controller? Happy Father's Day, everyone. Hope you get well, Foo. Oh well, yeah, Adam shout out to all the dads out there. Happy Father's Day. Holy cow, Greedmech, thank you for the two gift subs. Thank you. Uh, Andromeda, thank you so much for the resub. Thank you. All right. We want to play some Wander Song. I I didn't get to play yesterday, and E3 got me a little distracted, so we're going we're, we're gonna to see if we can beat the game today. So, so put on your seatbelt. Pardon. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Oh, yeah. First, I gotta just find out where my controller is. Thick Skull, I'll see you later. Uh, I'm gonna head out. Oh, have a good day. Uh, okay. <clears throat> oh, there it is. I'll go back. Okay, there it is. Okay. Whew. I gotta wake my switch up. And I gotta switch scenes. Oh, look, I, I'm still logged into the game. I'm, let's pick up exactly where we left off. Okay. Am I missing anything else? Hmm. Hmm. I think that's everything. <sighs> All right. Let me just check the audio levels. Oh my god, that's a little bit loud, isn't it? Uh-oh. Okay, wait a minute. One second. Let's see. I'm trying to fill this out. Okay, I, I can make it a little bit louder later, but we'll leave it at this for now. Yeah, it's a boss fight. We just landed here. I think we're in the other kingdom area because these two kingdoms are fighting each other and we need both kingdoms in order to get the real, uh... I came out as pansexual at work last Friday during a web meeting. They had a topic on LGBTQ which encouraged me, so I did. Oh, I'm happy for you. For it. Yeah, that's awesome, Beto. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that, I mean. <laughs> Thank you for coming out. No. I mean, yeah, no, that's, I think that's really, that's really good. Thank you. Thank you for the bits and thank you for sharing. Uh, exclamation point pan. I, I think I have that added as a command, right? Do I? Uh, congrats. I have to see. Oh yeah, I did, I did. Phew. Okay. Whoops. Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm a little scatterbrained today. I'll, I'll admit it. I'll say it all day. All right. I I think I just have to. I have to like synchronize with them. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. In the meantime, I am a little bit too big. There we go. Poor scientist lady. <laughs> Being eaten alive by flames and ghosts. Okay. Okay. So I just have to, like, save them and synchronize with their attacks. Pansexuals be like... I wouldn't say that's completely correct. I think that's a bit of a misconception. Although it really depends on the person. Oh. oh, I have to dodge the attacks as well? Okay. Okay. Darn it. How do I avoid the being hit? 
Okay. So now I can do this. There we go. Up, 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 up. Whoa. Okay. We're charging up. We're charging up. Whoop. Man, this guy takes a lot of hits. What are you doing here? Um, well, these witches said they needed help. Irresponsible. This thing is dangerous. I can't believe they let you jump in here. I guess there's no stopping it, so I guess I'll help fight this thing. But only to save your butt. No, no, hit Miriam, not me. <laughs> what? The Pam, the camera went away from me. The camera. Uh. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, eat it. Oh, Jeff Alonzo, I'll see you later. I have to go work. Oh, have a good work. Whoa. Charge it up. Let's charge it up. Yeah. Wow, this is taking forever. Oh, gotta dodge the attack first. Sorry. Oh, what the heck? Ooh, 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 ooh. Heck yeah. Another down. Woohoo! Don't woohoo this! These stupid witches nearly got us killed. Twice now. What's the deal, huh? What was that thing? We don't know, boss. They started appearing recently. You mean they aren't yours? Ours? What do you mean? Um, I thought the monsters were, uh, like a witchy thing? What? No way, boss. They're a total mystery to us. All we know is, they showed up around when the princess disappeared. Oh, the princess? Yeah, the princess. And the weird thing is, they grow out of the ground? And they don't seem to have a mind of their own. Vivian! Don't forget, civilians aren't supposed to know stuff all about this stuff. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Military secrets, I guess. But since you helped us take that thing down, we can trust you to keep all this between us, hey? Where did you say you were headed to anyways? We're going to the capital, I guess. Oh, you mean, uh, Mohabumi? Maha- Maha- Mohabumi. That's easy. We can help you get there, no problem. Want us to give you a lift? No. You busted my broom. That's what I'm saying. We can make up for it. I feel like we should go with the Miriam. Mm. This feels so weird. Riding on someone else's broom. Okay, get off here. This ferry goes straight to the capital. Seriously? You can't even take us all the way there? 
after you wrecked my broom? Hey boss, we got stuff to do, and it's still a while to go. You'll be there tonight. Good luck! Stupid witches. They helped us, Miriam, after shooting us down, and only because they thought we were Chandesh too. Oh gosh, Miriam, we totally forgot to tell them. The invasion from Ruel, it's tomorrow. Oh yeah, and Ruel thinks Chandesh is behind the monsters. But they're a threat to these people too. We have to stop it, Miriam. I get that it sucks, but it really isn't our problem. What? How can you say that? We can't let them keep fighting. They, ha they have to learn to settle their differences, to fight their common enemy. If you don't learn the Earth Song, it won't matter. Don't forget, we're fugitives too, remember? We need to keep our heads down, get the Overseer Song and get out, before the invasion starts. And without calling attention to ourselves, I think we've had enough being attacked and suspected and jail time. I don't even remember the jail time. Well, I do. Can we please just play it cool here? Yes. Cool, as a cucumber. Are you catching a cold or are you hot hot? I am catching a cold. I've caught a cold. But we're still doing this, we're still streaming. Okay. Are cucumbers cool? If you refrigerate them, they are. See? See how cool I am? Hmm. Oh, hello. I do apologize if I seem distracted. I'm in a bit of a pickle, you see. I'm in charge of the musical entertainment this evening, but I forgot the most- I forgot a most crucial element. Music. The band has no score to play. Oh! Yes, yes. They're all preparing in their quarters now. They must be as bamboozled as I am. Hmm. Well, we could... No, 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 not that. But what if... Hmm... Hmm... You gave me a Portuguese chicken and rice soup? Aw, that sounds really good. I would love that. Gonna be lurking? See you a bit later? Yeah, I'll see you later, uh, Nyanjari. Happy lurking. Oh, you spooked me. Why would you just run to someone's cabin? Well, it so happens that I have a problem right now. I'm singing for a, the band performing this evening, but our conductor lost the music. Shame. What do you know about music? I can write it. Is that so? Well, I'll have you know, my part is the most absolute, the absolute most important. I'm dead in middle, part two of three. I have to keep the audience interested, all while filling in the real meat of the song. If you can write for that, then let's see what you got. La la, is that right? Yes. Well, 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 not bad. Don't forget the rest of the band now, too. Okay. Vapor, hi, and hi, Allie, hi, hi, welcome, welcome. Don't mind the- don't mind the ice pack and thermometer sticking out of my body. Ooh, look at this guy. Hello. You know, I don't seem to recall seeing you on this vessel. Oh, haha. -ha. Well, uh, I've definitely been around. Just another witch from Chandesh. That's me. Most peculiar. Well, you don't need to answer this, but I must ask. Are you a member of the Spell Squad? What? Of course. How rude of me to be so direct. I shan't ask more of it. 
Us civilians really don't know much, mind. Only theories and rumors. They say that Rule was behind the princess's disappearance, and that she's no longer living. You really needn't confirm or deny anything. Your silence says it all. I'm sorry if my questioning has bothered you. Your secrets are safe with me. Really, I'm thankful for thankful for all the great work the squad does. good game. Whoa! Look how- look at- look at this cool person. Hola! Here for the show this evening? I'm in the band, you know. And my part is the most important. I'm the last to play. The big finale. I'm the part everyone remembers long after the show. It must be exciting to be me, oi! I'm here to write a song. What? You? Think you can make something worthy of the big finale? Well, let's see what you got. This guy looks... <laughs> they really look like they're struggling with that accordion. Yeah, 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 yeah. That sounds good. No sweat. Looks like we got ourselves a finale. Just gotta make sure the band's with us. Uh, wait. So, I went in here. Gotta go here. Oh, it's locked! Where- what are you headed to Mohabumi for? I was out in the boonies visiting family, personally. Can't wait to get back home now. All the good stuff is in the city. This boat ride is so dull. Someone told me there's a performance later? But then she got all mumbly and quiet. So I'm not really sure if there is one or not. Ahem, <clears throat> hello. I'm the captain of this boat, and I'm also the marimba player in the band. Of the three parts, I go first, because I'm the captain, and captains are the leader. It's easily the most important part of the performance. I have to capture the audience's interest and set up the rest of the song. But I don't have any music to play. Perhaps you could compose it for me? Sure. Most excellent. You have the floor. Get a load of this chat. Yeah, I'm a little bit of a musician myself. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> For a part as important as mine, I cannot accept something so simple. What? Can you expand on that? No! I'll try. Damn it. Hmm, <laughs> shall this be it? <laughs> yes! Most excellent. I believe I was the last one to need assistance. Now it's nearly time for the band to perform. But what about this room? 
Oh, this is the exit. Well, goodness me. Miraculously, the band all has music to play. Won't you join us for the show, then? Let's go. Let's -a go. Ahem. <clears throat> Thank you for coming. On this empty boat with nothing else to do, may we now present to you our song, which somebody just made up today. Yeah. Yeah. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ahmed, thank you for the host. Ah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Ah, oh, Vapor, thank you for hosting as well, thank you. Whoa, dude, whoa. Booyah. Oh, my goodness. Riveting. Oh, Audrey is on the boat. Bravo, bravo. Oh crap, it's Miss Hero. We're so honored by your attendance. Oh no, no, no. The honor is all mine. But you know, what I'm not honored by is the attendance of these criminals. Oh, <gasps> criminals? Yes, I'm afraid so. These rogues broke through rules border, cheated their way into the king's court and made a getaway from prison to here. They're fugitives from rule. How much do you have? I can't believe how cool these punks are. What? They broke every rule in the book, and to subterfuge, all to subterfuge rule, the scoundrels who took our beloved princess. Oh shit! I can't read that. I can't read that. Chat's in the way. Ah oh, crap! Hang on. An enemy of those villains is surely our friend. Guess that would explain some things. Like how we found her. But why would they do that? Don't you know? The people of Rule hate Chandesh. They'll, they do anything to get at us. Oh, Miss Hero. Well, she must have retired for the evening. It's, it certainly is getting late. As Captain... I advise that all guests on the boat take it easy and enjoy themselves tonight. They're not going to put out the fire. I need a little sippy. Minstrel. Huh? What was that? Minstrel. <clears throat> Hang on. Minstrel. Whoa! It's me. The princess. The ghost you met. You delivered my message to the king. Oh. You scared me. Yes, well, it's very hard not to do that when you're dead. Please listen to me. I'm trapped in your body and I still need your help, but I can help you too. The queen, you need to speak with her, right? That's my mom. I need to talk to her too before the invasion tomorrow, but it won't be easy to get to her. Mohabumi is a place for magical people, and you can't use magic, can you? Nope. Right. But if we work together, I think we can figure something out. I like teamwork. It's a bit new to me, but so is being dead. 
and I guess it hasn't stopped me yet. Sorry for, uh, invading your body, and then being trapped inside it. That was pretty rude, and you've already done so much for me. I realize I'm asking a lot. It's cool. It sounds like we need your help too. Guess so. My name's Hala, by the way. The city is just ahead. We are getting very close, everyone. As captain, I would recommend that we all prepare to disembark. We all prepare to bark. Bark, 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 bark. Welcome to Mohabumi. Mary Mary, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. Please take this complimentary guide map. Hold down to open it. Hey, this map doesn't have anything on it. It will fill itself in as you visit different areas. Non-magical persons will have trouble accessing much of the city. So we do not clutter the map with places you cannot see. What? What? As you may have noticed, the city is entirely underground. We keep it lit by magical crystals. Visitors often find this unusual, but a vertically designed city is more space efficient. You love to see it. Con convenient to navigate, if you can fly, that is. Unicorn Prince, thank you so much for the resub. Thank you. What happened to Chester? I'm a little sick, that's all. But uh, it's not that bad. Why, hello! Welcome to Mohabumi. The band has all dispersed now, but we really were big fans of your composition. Perhaps we'll save it for future shows. He. Not to worry. Rule won't be able to reach you here. Mohabumi is a, it's like a huge fortress. Although, hmm, you can't use magic, can you? You'll have a hard time getting around town on foot. I'm a complete fool for these shops. Every time I come, I feel I have to purchase something. Or two, or three, or four things. Mostly these shops are tourist traps for visitors, of course. The classier places are higher up in the city. But they're just so colorful and lovely. I suppose I really am easy. He. Whoa. Whoa, I wonder what that means. Hmm. I guess they'll sell brooms in this witch city. I don't know why I didn't think of that. They all look like crap though. We don't have money also. Oh yeah, this always happens to us. How are we ever gonna get anywhere? Apparently, if you can't fly, you can't even get to most of the city. Really missing my broom right now. I really wanted to see, see the city too. I've never been around so many witches. Hello, yes. Please peruse my shops. I'm sure something will catch your eye. Let me know if you have any questions. These brooms are the finest in Mohabumi. My family and I cut these ourselves by hand. They don't look that good. Then your eyes deceive you. One way or another, we have to meet the queen. She's got the overseer song, right? Don't worry, Miriam. I have a plan. Really? To meet the queen? Mm-hmm. Huh, okay. I'll work on getting a broom somehow. Are you an actual witch by chance? These brooms aren't really intended for, uh, actual flying. They are collector's items for tourists. But they are still worth purchasing, and they make wonderful gifts. Oh shit. Green Mac, I'll see you later. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful day. Hey, you can see me, right? I think I can talk through reflections. So that's handy. If you want to meet the queen, I have an idea of where to start. My sister is a student uh, 
near here. She might know some way to the palace. I'm marking her on your map, okay? Oh, excuse me. Please refrain from talking to the mirrors. It, it looks creepy. But I didn't say anything. Well, I could plainly hear you. Oops. Other people can hear me? This ghost, ghost thing takes some getting used to. Ahem! Yeah, it's not even a shop. Maybe, maybe this guy is like the owner of both the shops. I'm gonna go as well. I'll see you later, super weird plush. I'll see you later. Step right up. Why not look here for some new, hot new threads? That outfit is cute, but maybe it's a bit dated. You'll find something you love here. The people of Mohabumi have the best fashion in the world. Ask anybody, we're famous for it. Don't you want to look fabulous too? Your little feather cap is the definition of cute. Where did you get it? Oh, thanks. I made it, I made it actually. Huh. I found the feather first and I thought it was really cool. So I wanted something to put it in. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I'm not super good at sewing. So I got my friend Marley to help. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. What a great story. Wait, I wasn't done. Oh. See, cause... Uh... Blah, 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 blah. And that's how we made it. Great. Well, uh, if you want to buy anything, you can do that. I've traveled all over the world, but I've never seen a city like this. Mohabumi is really a magical place. Literally, because it's magic. Without magic, it's hard to reach most of the city. But there's so much to see in the tourist areas. I visited the academy and sat there in a, uh, sat in a class there. It was a little pointless, but it was interesting seeing how witches learn. Ooh, let's go to school. I have a I have my Minecraft fox plush. That's awesome. I want a Minecraft fox plush. Oh bother. This baton is really acting up. It's an old family heirloom, enchanted somehow to react to music. But the thing's so bloody sensitive. I can't so much as walk by a musician. I'm sure it's lovely for conducting. As long as the band is kilometers away. <laughs> wow! On one occasion, I was out and about with this thing and I had the misfortune to run into a marching band. I was trapped up in a high place for hours. They had to bring someone to get me down. Blimey! Oi, could you please stop with that? Something so music uh, sensitive could be useful, perhaps. So I thought to bring it to the academy. Chaps here know a thing or two about magic. Or maybe they could fix the bloody thing. That would be nice. Let's go to the academy. Ah, it's you from the boat. Are you a student here? <laughs> Wink. I'm winking, of course, because I know you are not. If you have come to learn about magic, well, uh, while I admire your pursuit of that knowledge, there is not much you can do with it. You are not a witch, correct? Unless you are born with a gift. Why are some born with magic and some not? The answer is not clear to us. Yet. That's the primary subject of my research here. Oh. Sorry if I didn't notice you just now. I'm working on my thesis. Just going back and forth. From my room to the library. Day and night. Forever. And I forget. How to talk like a normal person. I'm studying different kinds of magic. Different individuals produce different magics. Even when they attempt the same thing. But now I'm freaking out because there's no reason I can find for why that is. It won't make for a very compelling presentation. Four months of Chris. Thanks for being so wholesome. 
You've been Kyle an Fox, thank you. And I'm sure many others too. Aww. Being thank Love you so much, Kyle Fox. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thanks for the resub. Uh... Oh, Incarnate, I'll see you later. Have a good day. Is Chris sick? I, I am sick. Chris is sick. Chester? I guess Chester is sick too. But it's okay. It's just a bit of a cold. The Academy is so important to me. I grew up thinking I'd study here, dreaming about it. And now that I'm here, I wanted to create the most groundbreaking thesis. Really discover something. But it's easier said than done. Now I just hope to- Now I just hope I can graduate. Damn, it's getting a little real. <gasps> Kendra! Sis? Kendra! Am I seeing things? Hal, what are you doing in that mirror? Ahmed's, holy cow, thank you so much. Thank you, Ahmed's, uh, for the gift sub. Uh, I need your help, Ken. I need to talk to mom. Oh gosh, Hal. She's been worried sick about you. We all have. What happened to you? I died, Ken. I know that, but, but how? An accident. An accident? That's all I get? Everything's always a secret from me. They didn't even tell me when you vanished, Hal. I'm not a baby anymore. I'm sorry, Ken, but... I can't talk about it right now. What do you need? I'm tied down to this body. Hi, by the way. I'm a bard. But we don't have access to magic. So... How can we get into the palace? Hmm, no magic. Wait a second. Did you say you're a singer? What? Oh! That's right! What? I was just studying this in class. It's a little known fact that magic is actually just advanced music. What? And way, way, way back, we used to use songs to do magic. Found it. Try singing this. It worked. It worked? I can do magic? Sort of. Singing is primitive compared to real magic, but these crystals are extra magic sensitive, so they'll respond to you. And that's the only example song in the book. I wish I could be more help. I bet Amaris would know tons more magic spell songs. Oh no, not her. Who? Our older sister. She's headmaster of this whole school. And yeah, a pain to deal with. I, I don't want to see her. I don't think she wants to be seen by anybody. She's been hiding at the top of her tower for weeks. There's also a uh, Bedria. I can mark where she lives for you, Hal. Maybe she can help too. That's a much better idea. Thank you, Ken. I wanted to give you a hug just now, but I guess you're just a ghost in a mirror. I love you, Hal. Love you too, sis. Thank you for all the pets. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for the boop. Um, 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 um. Ah, shite. <gasps> I'm feeling so tired. After today, I'm gonna take a nap. Have fun. Oh, have a good nap, Thorn Violet. I was just taking a nap before stream. I woke up really early and then I took a power nap. Petting is off today? Is it off? Are you one of my students? Gah ha ha, of course not. If you were, you'd never forget me. Take magical engineering sometime, you'll love it. 
I'm rather like a bear. I'm fairly placid until provoked. And I like to hibernate three months of the year. <laughs> That's probably as far as the analogy goes. I don't make a habit of scratching my rear end on trees. The administration would frown on that, even in- even with my tenure. Ah, 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 ah. My students are brilliant. They're building a device to go far up into space. Why? Who knows? Maybe they'll poke Aya herself in the eye. Ah, 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 ah. Whoa. You got a broom. Yeah. I had to do a bunch of pointless side quests, but I got one of those cheap shop rooms. It's not exactly good. Going more than a couple feet off the ground is pretty terrifying. I'm trying to get used to it. Well, that's okay. Guess what? What? I learned how to do magic. What? Singing can do magic. And not just like the magic of friendship, but real magic like spells that do things. That's great. Well... I'm in no shape to take a passenger yet, so I guess keep doing your thing. Figure out how to get to the castle. I'll learn how to fly this thing, and then we can join forces. I'm also hitting the sack for the night. I just wish I got in the stream earlier. Stay wholesome. Thank you, Chrono. Thank you. I, uh, I haven't been streaming for too long, so I'm glad that you dropped by. Let's see. Is there anything down here? Hi, Gelty D. Oh, wait. I know where this is. I don't need to be down here. Yeah, happy solstice. Today's the longest day of the summer if you're in the northern hemisphere. How's, how's, Ch how, Ch hey, Chester, how are doing? I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. I've just got a little bit of a headache and a little bit of a sore throat. But, uh, otherwise, I'm doing pretty good. Oh, I don't go here. I was just stopping by to deliver my boyfriend some dinner. I'm an awesome supportive girlfriend. He's studying hard night and day. When you fall in- oh. Pardon me. But <clears throat> When you fall into that, it's easy to forget everything. Like eating. He'd never forget about me, though. He'll become a grand witch, and then we'll get married. Yes, it's a total dream life. These days are tough ones. He's in school, and I'm busy with work. We hardly see each other now. But it will all be better in the end. Sometimes I worry that the war will reach us here, and he'll be called to battle as a grand witch. Our perfect life would be so short-lived. All I can do is hope and I keep telling strangers about all my worries. Sorry if it's awkward. I have a lot on my mind. Whenever I'm lost in Mohabumi, I always remember the three Ds. Down does D. Open the map. What? Wait, that's not very memorable. Wait, how did I- how do I open the map again? <laughs> oh no. Oh. I can finally explore the rest of the market. There's a lot here. Mostly crap. I guess this is what witches like though. I was checking out this candy. It's really weird. Safi never made stuff like this. Interested in some candy, sweetie? They're all homemade from family recipes, passed down through generations of witches. I like candy. Of course you do. Try some of my dried worm guts. Uh, could I have candy? What? That is candy. My worm guts are the best in Mohabumi. Try, try. That's okay. Witches are the most fake, boring, annoying people on the planet. Thanks for being a streamer. 
Hope you feel better soon. Oh my gosh, Foxy Otter, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Thanks for watching. It really it really means a lot to me. If you ask me, I am not really proud to be one of them. And we're born with such strange hair colors. Pink, green, cyan, blech. I like normal hair colors. I guess that's obvious from my hair now. I don't really get why there's a war going on. Like, what's wrong with Rule? Did they do something? They seem cool to me. What do I know? I want to move out of here when I get older. Definitely not to go to the academy. I'd go across the ocean. Or I'd go to Rule even. Starting a new life in a strange new place? That sounds almost kind of exciting. Hmm. Oh, wait. I just went all the way back. I gotta remember my 3Ds. Whoops. Ah, darn it. I didn't mean to go through the passageway. Whoops. My great-great-grandma started the whole war with Rule. It's true, really. As a long, long time ago, she was in Z uh, Zyation, and she saw one of those animals. What do they call them? Quinn? It was a beautiful bird, I think. And she decided to keep it. But later she found out it was the Princess Quinn. Uh, when it went missing, he panicked. They thought it was kidnapped by spies. Yup. So they started the war over it. You know, it was crazy. Because the Quinn liked my great-great-grandma way better. The prince was, like, really mean to it. It was embarrassing for Rule. So they kept the real reason for the war a secret. But it was my great-great-grandma. Yup. Rest in peace. My whole family is crazy. We used to live in Mohabumi Castle. Yup. When I was a kid, it was my job to brush the queen's hair. I had to do it every day, even though I was so young. My dad was like a political advisor to her, so he knew like all our secrets. But he knew too much, yup. One day he found out something he wasn't supposed to, so the queen killed him. Yeah, it was so sad. We had to leave the castle forever, and never found out the secret that got him killed. But I think it was about one of the princesses, yup. They're always doing illegal stuff. They can get away with anything because they're royalty. When I was young, everyone said I was a prodigy. Like with magic, I studied in the castle with the princesses. They were all jealous of me though because I was so talented. I tried for the academy when I was still a kid. It took the entrance exam and everything. The proctor told me my exam was flawless too when I handed it in. But then later, when I got the official results, my score was terrible. But then I looked at my answers on my exam and it wasn't even my handwriting. They switched my exam on purpose, yup. It was totally corrupt. The queen bought my score for one of the princesses. I guess she wasn't too smart either, based on her exam. So I, I never got into the academy. Crazy, huh? I'm not sure if this person's telling the truth. It's pretty wild. Is that true? Was all that true? And why would you just tell a random stranger all that stuff? Icy Slobcat, thank you for hosting. Hmm. Hey, how can I help you? Want to buy a potion? I don't have any money. Aw, too bad. My potions are the best. My potions are too strong for you, traveler. I like to really go with the flow, you know? 
I make my potions fresh every day. I just kind of listen to the universe and see what, ingredi what ingredients it wants today. And then I use those. Sometimes it gets weird. But sometimes I make nifty new discoveries. I think I'm really in tune with the now, you know? So, they make potions here. That's your specialty, right? Uh, more like my grandma's specialty. I just picked up some things from her. But we could never make potions like these. We just used what was around us in Delphi. What's your specialty? Hmm. I guess I'm pretty good at blowing stuff up with my fingertips. That's very violent, Miriam. Do you really like blowing things up? Well, yeah. It's really fun. I don't know. That's what my magic does. But magic is so different here. Witches have all these different uses for it. They do lots of things with it. I feel so simple by comparison. I thought I was doing mag- I, I thought doing magic made me a witch. We're barely even the same thing. I feel so different from everyone. My grandma's the only one who feels like home. And we haven't talked in a long time. I keep wondering if she's okay. I bet she's worried about you too. Yeah. And, I mean, you know. What if we don't make it in the end? What if the world ends? Last time I saw her could have been the last. I never th thought about that. Well, I did. I think we'll make it back, Miriam. I guess I don't know for sure. Either way, you don't have to feel alone, because you have me. That's nice. Oh, I'm so tired. I was up all night before partying, and then I had to work today. I think I'm starting to see things. You look like a happy green elf. <laughs> Are you really here? You look so ridiculous. I'm real. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm so embarrassed. Wait. That's exactly what a hallucination would say. Tell me a story, sweet little hallucination. I'm real. But okay, once there was a happy unicorn, mmm. Except the happy unicorn wasn't happy because, um, she lost her horn. Mmm, no, oh no. Yeah, so she looked like a normal horse, but in her heart she knew she was a unicorn. And her name was, uh, Miriam. That's so cool. So Miriam the unicorn went looking for her horn. And, uh... You should get some sleep. That big platform was a little, was a little, a little funky. I think I want to go here, I guess. Wow, this whole town is so confusing. How do I jump higher? No. I don't think that this is the right way. Maybe this is like a pit for when I fall later on. Hmm. Why are the channel points called fluid ounces? Because it's like a drink. Fluid ounces. Like a water bottle has 12 fluid ounces. Hey there, bud. Don't be rude to anybody here. 
Oh, Abumi, it's a city of love. Well, I'm the only one who says that, but I'm gonna make it true by spreading love out in every direction. If everyone could learn to love and respect one another, the world would be a better place, bud. We don't need no war. We don't need no hate. Just feel the love. That's what it's all about. Some folks will laugh at you for saying wild things, even if they're true. Especially if they're true. But don't let the world stop you, bud. Let your love love grow free. Hmm. Oh, it's you, the creepy one, who escaped from jail, stowed away in my boat, stuck into my room, sang me a song. Well, how you doing? Break, uh, break any more laws lately? Mohabumi is a most wonderful musical city. Hard to believe there are folks out here working to destroy it. Those monster-loving rulers frighten me so their jail must have been a nightmare. I'm sure you've seen awful things. No wonder you came out so twisted. Thankfully, the war hasn't reached us here yet. You've come to the right place to get away. But its shadows lurk. Its shadow lurks close. There's talk of monsters in the forest. Rulers all keep monsters of their own, too. Think that's a coincidence? We won't be safe here forever. Hmm. Well, it's another day of war with rule. Folks may not always talk about it, but you can bet it's on their minds, huh? Everyone's stressing about the war, running around. Uh, but when you get to my age, it's no big thing no more. It's just life as a Chendeshian. Their, did their accents change mid-sentence? Uh... Was it maybe how I read it? Hi, Big Fat Cookie. Hi, welcome, welcome. Ooh. Oh my. It can't be. Hala? Padria, how's the baby coming along? Hala, you died. I know. I was trying to make it less awkward, sis. What's going on here? I'm in his body. Hi. And we need to talk to mom. But this minstrel doesn't have magic. The best we can do is sing the really old spells. The old songs? Did you talk to Amaris about it? No, I'm trying not to see her. I was hoping you could help us, Padria. Would, would that I could, Hala. But I'm not a scholar like Amaris. I don't know these things. You know she could answer your question like that. Uh -huh. I do know one of the songs. The one that goes like this? Why don't you try it? That was it. The one that lets us walk on walls. It's a handy one, but if you want to see mom, you've got to talk to Omaris. It's the only way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We will. I marked her office on your map just in case you forgot. I love you, Hala. Please don't haunt me forever. I'd be tempted, but I'm already in a committed haunting with this minstrel. I love you too, Badria. Give my regards to my niece when she's born. Whoa! Oh, that's weird. Wait, what's over there? There's something over there. Maybe once we can fly? Would Chester be afraid of having baths given his fear of water? Uh, no. Baths are fine. God, I haven't had a bath in a long time. We don't have, like, a bathtub at home. I just take showers. Oh, 
Oh, I have to walk. Okay. Walking is really weird. I have to go left or right, even if it's going up or upside down or whatever. You know, being a witch doesn't make life easy. I think about this all the time. People think magic solves all your problems. But I have lots of problems. I wish it would- I wish it solved all my problems. When my girlfriend dumped me, where was magic to help me then? That's what I'm asking. I can fly and walk on walls, but women? I just can't understand them. What's even the point of magic? I traded in a heartbeat. If it gave me my girlfriend back. Hmm, probably. I suppose I'd have to think about it. Whoa, dude. What's the game called? Yeah, it's called Wander Song. Bath's Rock, I wish had one of those huge tubs. Oh my god. I think my, my parents have their own fancy bathroom, and that's the only place with a bathtub. The last time I took a bath was when I, uh, when my flight got canceled and they gave me a hotel voucher. So I had to wait a day and I just went into the hotel and took a bath. I just took a bath. That's when I beat Bastion for the first time. I beat it in a hotel waiting for a flight. And then after I beat Bastion, I took a bath and it was so nice. <laughs> it was like not even a vacation, but it kind of felt like a mini vacation. I, I kind of like when they give me hotel vouchers. I just really like hotels. They're kind of my favorite. Yeah, it was Bastion. Bastion is a good game. Hotels are my favorite part. Uh, hotels are my favorite part of vacations. Oh, darn it. What? Darn it. Do I sit here and watch Chris play the game, or do I buy the game and play it myself? Do you want to play Wander Song? It's a good game. I recommend it. I am near the end. Well, I think I'm like two-thirds of the way through. And if you're not too spoiled on it, I, I, I really like it. It's like a grand adventure. It's a lot longer than I thought it would be, so... If you're looking for a full adventure, then this this is it. Oh! 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 Watch Chris and give them your money? No, no, you don't have to. <laughs> no. Well, I do like having people watch me, but no one has to give me their money. Oh. <sighs> okay, wait. Whoa, what's up with that crystal? I think I messed it up. Whoa. Uh... <coughs> Pardon. Hmm. Did he get poked? No, I, I got vaccinated a while ago. I, I just have a cold. It's a it's a little it's a little cold. Where? I love living upside down. Wait, no, it's the rest of the world that's upside down. I am one of the few right side up ones. <laughs> Some folks don't like being on the ceiling. You get used to it. Suits me just fine, but then I may just be a very upside down kind of person. Least that's what all my boyfriends say. Hehehe. <laughs> uh, oh my gosh, there's quite a ways to go. Hola, my amigo from the boat. 
Are you enjoying Mohabumi? This just so happens to be right near my favorite place in the city, the Crater Theater. All the best musicians in the world come here. I would play here myself, but... I smashed my accordion. Perhaps I did not think that through. You must always follow the music. That's the spirit of a true musician. And sometimes, the music tells you to smash your accordion. And the light and light it on fire. No one can say why she asks us this. But when you become a musician, you pledge your allegiance to her whims. You may have the spirit of a true musician. I did not know it when I met you. But now, I can feel it. Yours shines as bright as mine. We are kindred spirits, amigo. Carry the music in your heart wherever you go. Hmm. Ah, all this stress is bad for my skin. This forever war would be boring if it wasn't so terrifying. I don't want to be eaten by a monster. I thought sideways living would be a fun change of pace. After me and my boyfriend split, it was time for something new. Turns out, it's not really that exciting. My life is still the same boring thing, but sideways now. Building in Mohabumi is, pre is a pretty unique challenge. That used to be my problem. I was studying to be an architect, until I wasn't. How does anyone know what they want to do? I can't even decide which direction to live in. Whoa. Why is everyone in the city recently broken up? What? Shall I go into the crater theater? I feel like... Um, mm. Holy cannoli! Ace! Manny! What a sight for sore eyes. I always thought we might run into ya again. It's been a while. We ain't got much time to chat. About to go up on stage here, and once you're up he once you're up there, there's gonna be that's gonna be our whole night. These witches sure know how to party. I'm mentally preparing myself. We'll give them a night to remember. Come watch us in a bit. Ugh. Yeah, I'm with the band. It's just a temp thing. They're so dorky. I'm working on launching my solo career. The music I do is pretty different, but I need these gigs. Girls love a guy in a band. After I perform, they line up. Well, except with this band. It's hard to look cool with these dweebs behind you, but I'm doing my best. I love the crater. I love to just get down. Yeah, and freaky. These joints are old. But they still got life in them. Hmm. <gasps> I can dance. <gasps> oh, huh. What, uh... What are you doing here? I don't know. What are you doing here? Nothing. It looked like you were dancing, Miriam. No, I... Okay, you know what? I was dancing. Is that against the law? I didn't know you liked dancing. I don't. Usually, but... I don't know. I've been figuring it out. A bunch of stuff about myself. And it's been exhausting. And... I want to dance. I don't care if you want to judge me. No! I want to dance with you. Um, so what sort of stuff have you been figuring out? Everything. Like who I am, and what I'm doing, and why I'm doing it. Oh, that's a lot. You figured that out? No. I guess you don't really ever figure that out. I was just thinking about it. You always seem to know what you're doing. I do? Well, okay, no, you don't. But, you know, you, you know who you are. I do? Oh, shut up. Yes, you do. You're always so sure of what you want. And you're always so happy. 
Like, it's just easy. It is. Not for me. How do you do it? Huh? You mean, be happy? Yeah, how do you do it? I want to be happy. I don't know. Maybe it's not really that easy. I have to try hard all the time. A lot of stuff makes me feel sad. Sure. But then you just get over it. Like when we were in uh, Chis Chismist. We were so mopey about not being the hero. And then you were fine again. I don't know if I really got over it. I just stopped thinking about it. Do you still wish you were the hero? Yes. I don't want to be mean, but that girl who's the hero, I think she's evil. You think? It's unfair. Why is she the hero? All I wanted to make all I wanted was to make a difference and save the world. But I'm nobody. Nothing I do matters. She's still killing overseers. Hala's message didn't stop the war. And I keep trying, but I'm scared that no matter how hard I try, I'll never change anything. See, that's what's good about you, huh? Heroes, monsters, overseers, witches, you're in way over your head. You don't even have powers, like I do. But you keep trying, even when it's hopeless. I really admire that about you. You don't have you don't have the same gifts as I do, but you keep racing ahead of me. Sometimes it makes me feel useless, but it's also inspiring. I want to be like that. Thanks, Miriam. Dancing feels really good. Yeah. I didn't know, but I needed this. Yeah. I'm glad you're having fun. This band is from Delphi, isn't it? It's the one you played with. Yeah! I missed your show, but I dig this music right now. Miriam! You like music? Is it really you? They're from where I grew up. It reminds me of home. I thought in a city of witches, I'd find something familiar and learn about myself, but so far, the thing that's connected to me the most is this music. It makes me think about my grandma, and red trees, and all the stuff that makes me happy. See, Miriam? That's the power of music. Bug, hi, hi. I'm feeling, I'm feeling okay now, yeah. Well, I'm still sick, but... The more I get into this game, the less I think about how crummy my throat feels. But I'm doing good. I'm enjoying the game. He do his little dancey dance, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna dance here a while. No more talking, just dancing. Me time, okay? Okay. Damn, dancing's so good. All right, let's see. Where do we go from here? The band is gone and we need to get to the palace. Just Dance 2021, isn't it on sale? <laughs> I can't stream that though. Not that I would want to. Do I want to? Whoa. So how do I control how far I jump? Oh, do I hold down? Oh, I think I hold down. It's only $20. I can't dance on stream. Hmm. That is good though. That is a good deal. But don't, do you have to buy song packs separately or something after you purchase the game? I've never owned a Just Dance game before. Oh, is the other one going through walls or something? Just Dance, but it's DMCA. It's like lo-fi, lo-fi girl music, like all the way through. Oh my gosh, Anonymous, thank you for gifting us up to Possum. Thank you. 
Thank you, Anonymous. What? 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 You good? Yeah, I'm sick. I'm sick. I'm sick. I'm so sick. This game's so sick. How the hell do I get up there? The last Just Dance I had to pay for a subscription to get more songs? Oh my god, why? I hate subscription model stuff so much. Oh, I hold up, I think. Wait, do I hold up or do I hold down? I think I just have to like time it. Yeah, there we go. Subscription fee? Come on. That was 2019. Oh, th did they change it? I, I don't know. I'm scared now. Uh, I'd have to really find out for sure. Hala. Amaris. What brings you here? Well, I died. Oh, I know that, believe me. And other things, too. You really hurt this family, you know that? What you did was incredibly selfish. Hey, that's not very nice. Your sister was kidnapped. Why is that selfish? She wasn't kidnapped. Huh? She ran away, abandoned us, got herself killed. Why don't you tell your- why don't you tell us yourself, sister? Well, I mean... yeah. You ran away from home? Why? I wanted the stupid war to end. And mom has the power to stop it. But she wouldn't hear me. I got frustrated. And then I thought, maybe the king of rule would have more reason. It was desperate and stupid. I realized that. So I ran away. And then I died. I'm sorry, Amaris. Okay? But now everyone thinks Rule killed me. And it's just another thing instigating the war. I can't let that be on my leg. I can't let that be my legacy. Then how did you die? The forest monsters. Or demons or whatever they are. Something terrible is happening out there. And it's not Rule and it's not us. Someone needs to make mom understand that. We just need a song, Amaris. A spell song we can use to reach the palace. You're the only one who might know it. I do know it. I shouldn't e even have to teach it to you, Hala. All the royal family should know it. Kandra and Badria didn't. Really? So much old knowledge going forgotten. Here, this is it. Is that an oral thermometer? It is! It's a little big, isn't it? <laughs> I'm smoking it like a cigar. <sighs> there are 40 songs built into the game, but there's a subscription if you want more. Ugh. Oh. Okay, I guess that's kind of fair. But, ugh, oh, I just don't like subscriptions. Come on. Give me a break. Thank you, Amaris. Uh, oh, was that supposed to be Ghost? Was that- was that Ghost or was that, uh, the Bard? Thank you, Amaris. Of course. Losing you was very hard, Hala. For all of us. I couldn't help but be angry. Maybe you don't deserve it. I'm helping you so that you can go talk to Mother yourself. You hurt her the most. I hope you're ready to answer for that. Damn, give her a break. She died. I thought you were smarter than this, Hala. You were smarter than this. You could have been a great student like Kandra. Or raised a family like Badria. But you threw it all away. Stupid. Such a waste of your precious mind. As soon as you vanished, we knew that you'd run away yourself. That you had run away yourself. But I didn't know why. 
You never even said anything, Hala. It seemed like you just wanted to be rid of us. How could I not be angry? Perhaps I was too quick to judge. I should be happy to see my little sister again, but seeing you like this right now, it's just bringing out my anger. I'm sorry to be like this, Hala. Forgive your fool of a sister. Hmm. I guess I need to go like three clicks over to that mysterious area. Hmm. Uh, 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 uh. Oh my god. <laughs> Navigating the city! Hmm. Whoa, hello. Why, you caught me. That's right, the mysterious graffiti artist of the Witch Academy, who's left her mark all over, but has never been seen, is me. Oh, you haven't heard of me? Just don't tell anyone you saw me, okay? The Witch Academy is so stuck up. People think studying magic means you know everything. I hate it. Someone has to shake things up. That's me. I'm a student here too. If the administration finds me out, I'd be expelled for sure. Not that I love the place. But I need to graduate. It's my ticket out of this drab city and into the real world. I want to be one of those, uh, one of the few witches who leaves Chandesh. I've got big ideas, bub. Hmm. I'm gonna bounce. Uh, I'll see you later, possum. Have a good day. Hmm. How do I get around? Thank you for the pets. Okay. Okay. No! No! Darn it. Ah! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 no! Ah, oh, that's so confusing. Okay. There we go. I need to get on the other side, though. What? How do I get over there? I wish I could bounce to it and stick to it, you know? But I can't sing in midair. Can I? Oh. Yeah. <sighs> Okay, we could figure this out. Oh wait, I could just jump from there. Gotta do the Wind Waker glitch, uh oh. Speed running tactics. Hmm. This game is called Wander Song. It's a... I guess it's a bit of a puzzle platforming RPG. It's a little casual, but the story is so, is so grand. It's about saving the world when you're just a little bard. Just a little bard. Okay. 
Yeah, it's a very sweet game. Oh, it looks like I can't even get to where I want to go anyways. Okay, I need to go here. Hmm. Okay, so now I need to go upside down. Uh, maps like these is the exact reason why I'm scared of playing Hollow Knight. I'm not usually good with this sort of thing, you know? Well, let me go around. Okay, and now I do this. One of my friends is a voice actor for the bard? Oh, that's so cool! Oh my gosh, that's awesome! La... La... That's awesome. It's a- it's a great game. I thought it would be something I played in one, you know, in one sitting, like a little- a little thing, but it's like a game. It's like a game game. Uh, and that's really cool. It reminds me of Paper Mario. Whoa, hey now, Wanderer. Didn't expect to see you here. Uh, there's really no place like Mohabumi, is there? It's full of secrets. I think that's important, Wanderer. The world needs mysteries. How did you get here? The real truth is, we can never know the real truth. Some questions are just too big. And sometimes the question is more important than the answer. Don't you think? A real mystery can remind us of that. Even a mundane one. Mohabumi's got a lot of cool nooks even some that aren't on the map. I found one particularly special little nook, and if you find it well, I won't say. Some things are best to discover on your own. Okay, probably more dance moves. He's a good musician, he has a bard avatar in VR chat and sing goes around singing to people. Whoa, that sounds cool as fuck. Have you played any of the Ori games? No, I haven't, and same reason as Hollow Knight, I'm scared of getting lost. I'm really bad with Metroidvanias. But I do own Hollow Knight, so I'll play that first. And if I get through that, then I'm sure I'm sure I can do Ori, because I heard Hollow Knight was like... I heard that Hollow Knight ain't an easy game. We'll see if I can actually pull it off, though. If it's too hard, I might just give up. Another Hollow Knight playthrough to follow. Well, <laughs> we'll see how long I last before I, before it, before it does me in. Uh, I know it's a bit of a long game, so I don't know if I want to like stay on it too long, unless I'm really having fun. And I know a lot of people have played it before me. I just, I just, I know it's really good, and I want to experience it. You know. Ah, crap! How did I do it the first time? Oh, we go. Okay. Oh, it's so confusing walking like this. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Hollow Knight is good, but I have a smooth brain and bad memory. Me too, I keep getting lost, even with maps and stuff, and then you gotta buy the maps, and then you gotta buy the... Oh, <laughs> I'm already like an hour or two into it, but I, I think I'll have to start over, because I, I really forgot everything. But uh, I know it's really good, I just, I, mm, I'm not smart like other gamers are. 
Uh, but I own it, so I gotta commit. I've been letting chat backseat game for me. <laughs> That's the only way I can beat it, If is if chat helps me. I think a lot of games are that way. Thank you, chat. Shout out to chat. Chat, pet yourself. You've been petting me this whole time. It's time to pet who really deserves it, which is you. Give yourself, give yourself a pet on the head. Pet chat emote? I don't have one. <laughs> But you can physically pet yourself. Hmm. Okay. We can have that Chester pet emote represent chat somehow. Oh, the palace is here. The palace is here? How do I get in? Whoa, it's a hidden palace! There's a hidden boss! Okay. Let's see if there's anything over here. Oh, nope. Hmm. Uh-oh, here we go. Story time. Let's see what the queen has to say. Oh. Hala? Hi, Pranima. How did you- who is- why? What? We're here to talk to mom. Oh. She's still looking for you, Hala. Anyone that lends her an ear, she seem she sends to find you. She won't believe that you're gone. Ah, crap, I totally messed up. I read the non-dead person with the dead voice. Darn it. Well, you know what I mean. <clears throat> so... We should talk to her. Yes! I just thought you should know. Please be gentle with her, alright? Immersion broken, no! Mom! Can it be? Hala? Hala, you've returned to us. I knew it! I knew you were alive all this time. Your sisters denied it, said the most awful things. But I knew it, Hala. I'm so glad you're alive. I'm sorry, Mom, but I'm definitely dead. But your voice? What is going on? Ugh! Mother, can't you see my death is really reality? <laughs> but though I've left the fra frame, my message is the same deep amongst the trees something comes your you must be leave monsters grow wing Tall, a uh, dance, uh, no, pff, a danger <laughs> to us all. They took my life, and now our strife each day 
Grow, 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 grow. I fuck, I can't sing that. Gr grows. Ever. More. Oh my gosh, Mastic, thank you so much for the resub with Prime. Thank you. They can't afford to be ignored because of pointless war. I wish I could just give to you for give ness that you lack this war is not worth all our loss and it won't bring me back She's gone. Holla. Her words, they're so naive. What? Oh, small dog. <clears throat> oh, small dog 1999. Thank you for the prime sub. Even small dog 1999 can see how naive that my dear old Holla is. I can't believe she's really gone. She died carrying this foolish idea in her heart. She never understood how things worked. How could we just end the war? It's impossible. But those were her last words as a ghost. She came all this way to say that to you. Yes. I dearly wish that made her words true, but it does not any more than when she was with us. Gah! Wait! That's not all. There's an invasion tomorrow, too. Yes, I am well aware. Those animal-loving barbarians. So long as they haunt us, there will never be a chance for peace. But, please, be gone now, whoever you are. I'm a bard, by the way. Hmm. Um, I'm trying to save the world. Hmm. So I need to learn the Overseer song. Hmm. Can you teach me it? No. Mrs. Queen, Hala's message was really important to her. I really think you should listen to what she said about monsters and stuff and the war. Our spell squad is already dealing with the monsters. My worry now is that the hero we sent to rescue her and rule Hala, my wonderful daughter. She was so intelligent and yet so foolish. She could have been a scholar like Amaris, if only she weren't so reckless. Please, I wish to be alone. I'm sorry. Now you see what Hala dealt with. Now what do I do? Ghost Kid! I'm really sorry about my mother. I just want you to know, I really think Hala was right. And... You needed the Overseer song, right? I can teach that to you at least. If it helps. Yes! Okay. Then, listen closely. Oh my god, it's getting hard. Oh my god. <laughs> it wasn't this hard before.
Thank you. Of course. I'll keep talking to my mother. Maybe with time, sense will reach her. Good luck on your journey, ghost kid. All right. We got what we came for. Now I guess I need to find Miriam, who knows the other song. Up oh, there she is. Hey, check it out. I mastered this stupid broom. Now I can get us anywhere in the city. So we can finally meet the... You met the queen already, didn't you? Yes. Well, great. So you got the overseer song? Yeah. What's wrong? What's the problem? The war didn't end, Miriam. Even after we came all this way, we couldn't change anything. Ugh! How many times do I have to tell you? The world is ending. The war or no war, it doesn't matter. We got the song, so we got what we needed. We need- we can meet the Overseer. Hop on my broom and let's go! Before the invasion! Or you can meet me later, if you still have stuff to do. I'll mark on your map where to find me. But keep it quick! No, we're no, we're gonna go. We're we're gonna we're gonna get out of here. Wait, so I can't just. Oh, I gotta hop. There we go. Here we go. Wow, Miriam. You fly this broom really well. It's like you never lost your old one. Meh. I'm definitely not as good with this one, but thanks. I'm really sorry, Miriam, about your broom, and also, we promised to work together more. But I met the queen without you. Are you upset with me? Nah. I'm still upset my broom broke. But I'm not mad at you. Yeah, I had a lot of stuff to think about anyway. It was weird being a city in a city with other witches. I thought it'd be a place where I fit in, but I didn't. That just means you're special. Well, maybe. I don't want to be so special. I've been special my whole life. Around Delphi, me and Safi were the only witches. I never knew someone else like me. And I guess I still don't. It doesn't feel good to be different like this. I feel like I ju I'm just messed up. And I'll never fit in anywhere. I don't fit in it either, Miriam. What? Yes, you do. Everywhere you go, you make a lot of friends. Everyone loves you. Nobody loves me. I love you. I mean, like a friend. I know. And maybe I do make friends. But it's not because I fit in or I'm like them. Everywhere we go, I'm just an outsider too. Just being on this adventure is wrong for me. I'm not a hero. I'm not supposed to be here. But you make me feel like I am. We're outsiders together. I'm glad that we're friends. You know, you're probably the only person I know that I'd call a friend. I'm glad we're friends too. I did some research in the city. We're going to meet the moon overseer, the moon's queen. And if I understand right, we're gonna have to play the song I learned and the song that you learned at the same time. No idea why, but it means I'll enter with you. Pretty standard by now, right? We'll probably land far apart like last time, but I'll meet up with you ASAP. That's the plan. Any questions? Uh, why do we land far apart? I don't know. Well, the thing about the spirit world is none of it is real, the things are here, the way things are here. It's shaped by your mind and by the overseer. That's why it goes empty when an overseer dies, and different people see different things in it. Uh, I'm doing good, uh, Lacario. I hope you're doing good too. How are you doing? I'm, I'm, I got a little bit of a cold, but I feel like I'm shaking it off. 
I feel my body working, working to shake it off. And people, different people see different things in it. I bet it looks really different to the hero. So the space there is really chaotic and shifting, distorting around each person there. Probably, it's probably basically impossible for people to find each other, except the castle where the overseer lives. It's a, uh, pardon, it's a center that's the same for everyone. So that's probably why we find each other there. Guess I knew after all, I just never put the pieces together. Did that make sense? I can explain it again if you want. Any more questions? Uh, how are you feeling? Huh? I feel fine, I guess. Pretty feelings out right now. And ready to go meet an overseer. Yeah! I couldn't do it without you, Miriam. Yeah. Any more questions? For the hero? Oh, her. I heard the witch queen sent her off. To go find a princess or something? But the- But that princess died! Awesome. I mean, not awesome, but that'll keep the hero occupied for a while. So that's good news for us. Any more questions? Nope. Okay, great. Let's get it over with. Hi, Karin. Hi. I just have a bit of a cold, but it's okay. Isn't this game so cute? It's adorable. Oh my god. God, I forgot how intense and long this song is. Go see the Moon Queen. Hopefully she's not fucked up like all the other ones. Has Chris streamed a rhythm game before? I've played Sayonara Wild Hearts, which is really, really good if you haven't played it. It's only like an hour long game. Okay. Now we're in the moon zone. Uh, Where do I go from here? Yeah, Sayonara Wild Hearts is so good. Oh my god, the soundtrack fucking bangs. I gotta- I gotta add it to my playlist or something. Oh no. I'm stuck. Eep. Are you a human? Yes? Oh my god. Moth. Hello. Wait. Wait. I need a I need a voice bank thing for this. Hang on, give me a sec. I gotta I gotta make one. Uh, let's see. Let's replace this one with yeah yeah we go okay. Hello. Um. I'm the Moon Fairy. I've been hiding here for a long time. You must be the hero, right? Uh, no. Oh no! Things have gotten very bad. The Moon Queen is very angry. And monsters started appearing here. They took away my only friend. Um, that's why I hid. I'm not very brave. My friend is, though. If I were brave like she is, I would go rescue her. But I can't by myself. I can help you. But you aren't the hero. That's okay. I'm a bard. I don't know what that is. But if you can help my friend, um, that would be great. Fred? Who's Fred? Fred from what? You can go this way. Fred? From what? Fred from Fred? Huh? I'm very confused. Fred from ancient YouTube. What? iCarly? 
Fred from early YouTube and Nickelodeon? What? I have no, I, I, I don't know what you're saying to me right now. <laughs> uh oh, should I change it to a different voice? There's another one called Hamsters. You don't know Fred? I don't know Fred. What? <laughs> How does everyone who Fred is? I don't know, what? Oh, is it a Canadian thing? I'm not Canadian. I've only studied in Canada for a few years, but I'm not Canadian myself. Fred? Who is Fred? What? How, how does everyone know who Fred is? I know who Marcel the Shell is. Are they related? That's just another thing that I'm randomly thinking about. Fred Figglehorn. Look it up on YouTube. Fred was the first to hit 1 million on YouTube. Just look up Fred. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm stopping the stream to look up what Fred is. Fred. What? I'm seeing a channel with 2.96 million subscribers. Do not look up Fred, you're free? Is it bad? Or is it cringe? So if I click Fred goes to the dentist, will I- will I be changed forever? Fred goes swimming? You want me to look up Fred goes swimming? Yes? I'm scared? What the fuck? <laughs> what is this? Is it just a dude talking in a high-pitched voice? Wait, I don't get it. <laughs> what is this? Do I sound like Fred when I put on the helium voice? Okay, I have to go to the dentist. I'll see you later. Bye! <laughs> Was that it? Was that it? Did I do good? <laughs> ah! My controller! <laughs> no! <laughs> no, hang on. Ugh. <laughs> you didn't know Fred? No! How, how does everyone know who Fred is? I don't understand. It's just a guy. It's just a guy with a high-pitched voice. He had his- she had a show on Nickelodeon? How did I miss this? I don't believe it. I, I mean, I, I know that Annoying Orange has a show. I don't get it. I don't get it. He had movies? His dad was John Cena? Was- is that like a- is that like a joke or like a running gag or something? Or is he actually related to John Cena? It's a joke? Man, I don't... I don't fucking understand. I don't get it. I really don't. Why was he famous? Was he funny? Oh, John Cena played his dad. Oh. Kids thought he was funny. Is it that easy? Is it that easy to create content, huh? Well... Chester and Fred collab on stream in. <clears throat> Hi chat, you won't believe who I have on as a guest today. Hello, it's me, it's Fred, I'm back, bitches. <laughs> I'm back and I'm here to stay. I'm here to take the internet by storm. 
that wow fred how long have you been gone I'm, i can't believe you're here on my stream right now yeah i can't believe it either let's play some games shall we yeah what do you think we should play i want to play among us boom ba -ba -ba -ba. Sassy Baka. it's me i'm fred <laughs> i'm not here with the memes now <laughs> <laughs> all right i'm gonna play this game oh shit i died <laughs> I really don't understand what what the deal with Fred is. Oh. Uh. I guess I go up here. Oh. <laughs> Someone's. Wait. <laughs> Someone spray painted Sussy Baka on a bridge near you? Was it you? You you can you could admit it. This is a safe space. You can tell me what you did. Whoa shit! <laughs> okay, I deserve that. This is like that thing in Mario Galaxy. <laughs> Epic Fred moment. I can't believe that someone got famous just being named Fred. Like Fred is such a like a regular name. That crossover just made my day, Chris. <laughs> Are you sure? Seven hundred word paper and writing. Enjoy oh. the stream so far today. Feel Good better. luck with your paper. I'm I'm rooting for you. Uh, you got this, Delosia. I'm, I'm, I'm rooting for you. You can write this essay. I, I know you can do it. Do it for Fred. And do it for me, Chester the Otter. Meet Mew. Yeah, do it for Chester the Otter. Meet Mew, am I right? <laughs> how we follow the furries doing tonight. <laughs> I don't... Alright. Okay, Fred, you, you can go away now. Watch! <laughs> uh... What, what would Fred's persona be? Probably like a hamster, right? Or like a little chipmunk? Like an, like an adorable little chipmunk? Ah! A bird? Oh, like a kookaburra. Yeah. I forget that Alvin the chipmunks are chipmunks because real chipmunks are just like tiny little chibi squirrels. Don't diss hamster furries like that. You know, surprisingly I have not seen that many hamster furries. Not I've I've seen a few, but not many. Well, I've seen people who draw like Hamtaro like avatars, but they're not in, like, the traditional furry mascot style, I guess, if you can call it that. Oh, 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 my god, this is so hard. I used to be a hamster furry. Aww. <laughs> That's adorable. I mean, hamsters are pretty pog in real life, I mean. Huh. I am hamster furry. Aw, welcome. Hamster. Ah! The hamster got me killed. <laughs> no. I was thinking about. I was thinking about hamster. Hamster. Hamster on a piano, hamster on a piano, hamster on a piano. Wait, what was he eating on the piano? What was the hamster? Oh, yes! Eating popcorn. Eating popcorn on a piano, hamster on a piano, hamster on a piano. 
Hamster on a piano. Oh, where do I go? I don't understand. What? Up? Oh shit, you're right. <laughs> it looked like a trap. Why? Don't call me stupid. Come on. You're, you're the tier 3 sub, so who's the real fool here, huh? Yeah, that's right. I said it. Tier 3 sub to who you think is a fool. That makes a double fool. Oh, oh no! Huh. Wait, how did I get here? Hmm. Piano hamster. Yeah, have you heard of the song? The Perry Grip song? He's the guy that did nom 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 nom. Nom 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 I'm having way too much fun with fucking voice mod. Alright. Uh Do that again. Do that again. Let's go again. Let's go again. Wait, how do I get over there? Oh, that's so risky. What? Oh, okay. We got this. Huh. It's Chris X Daft Punk collab. Daft Punk is Daft Punk is gone. Which is a huge shame because I was looking forward to the next Tron movie. Do you think they would come back to score Tron Ares? Because I really, I really liked Tron Legacy. I mean, it wasn't like the greatest movie ever, but it gave me a renewed interest in that universe. And I want to see more. And the soundtrack was so good in that movie. Let's go see the Moon Queen. Whoa! Yep! This is the place where the Sun King lives. My friend is trapped in here. The Sun's King? Yes, the Overseer. But what a about the Moon Overseer. She is back the way we came. Why are there two Overseers here? Um, I don't understand your question. I thought they all lived really far apart. Um, well, we used to be further apart. Oh my god! Wylander, thank you for gifting the sub. Thank you! I really appreciate it. A long time ago. But now, we are very close. So the castle's moved? Yeah- uh Yes! Is that strange? I guess not. Let's go see the Sun King. Okay. What? Helium voice only streaming. I'm pretty sure I would lose all of my followers. My followers whom I cherish very dearly. Shit. <laughs> Fred stream? No, I'm not gonna. I'm not. It's not Fred the Chipmunk stream, it's Chester the Otter stream. Whoa! Oh, this is deadly. Why is it so dark in the Sun Kingdom castle? What? What?
Uh, Oxnard, I will ask you to be a little more patient. Whoa, monsters? That's one of them. The monsters that kidnapped my friend. Oh, goodness. I'm so frightened. But my friend is deeper in the castle, so I will have to be brave. How the... What? Sing it to death? Can I do damage? It kind of feels like this is like a stealth mission. Oh my god, I kind of hate this. How do I get through? Can I not? I don't think I can get through here. Book it? I'll try. Oh my goodness. Wow, I didn't like that. What if you use the opposite color? I don't think that it's color coded. Okay, it's not the color, it's the, um... Like the glowy... The glowy bits. Bruh. Bruh. Okay. Hi, Chester. Hope you're feeling better. Like I said, the wheel of the otter, the person is more important, so I hope you're not pushing yourself. Thank you, follower. Thank you. Our forces are under attack. Murphy, thank you so much for the raid. How was your stream? Oh my gosh, how was your stream? Aw, thank you so much. Yeah. I, uh, welcome, welcome on in. We're playing Wandersong. And we're escaping these really scary eyeball guys. Kind of reminds me of Inside. God, I loved Inside so much. I can't wait for the new one. Summer? Summer's Bee or something like that? It was a nice stream. We played a lot of small games. That sounds so fun. Thank you for the raid. Wow, you streamed early, huh? How are you feeling? Did you get sleep? Is it not Summer's Bee? It should be called Summer's Bee, because Summer's Bee sounds cute. Even though the game doesn't really look that cute. Somerville. I wanted to see how I like streaming early. How did it feel? It has a really different vibe than streaming late. I kind of like both, but lately I've been gravitating towards later streams. For a long time I was like, I kind of like being sleepy on stream. It, it takes the pressure off of being funny. <laughs> but these days I'm feeling the opposite. I'm not sure why. I guess it's like, I guess it depends on my mood. It's very chill. Yeah, it is very chill. It's just like, Good morning. <laughs> I'm sleepy today, so don't expect much, but then it's like, it ends up being fun anyways. All right, we got the key, so now we need to go here. This game is pretty. I really like the style. It's so, it's so stylized and like flat.
I really think Paper Mario fans should take note. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I got a boop coming on. I got a boop. I got a boop. Oh no, you booped me instead. I am the little moth fairy. Oh no. <laughs> I need to go eat breakfast because I haven't yet. Oh my gosh. Happy breakfast. Uh, or lunch? Happy eats. Thanks for the raid. Uh... What? It's like right up there. How do I... Oh, there's another key. Whoop. Okay. Gotta run, gotta run, gotta run. You sick? A little bit, a little bit. It's not too bad. Uh, I feel like I'm shaking it off. It was- it's like worse when I- right when I woke up. When I woke up today, I'm like, oh fuck, no way can I stream, but... Uh, after I kind of, um... Like, got a little bit more awake, it was- it wasn't so bad. I just hate sore throats. Like, having to... Having it hurt when you swallow saliva is like the worst. Uh, okay, so I guess I just have to... What? Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. Okay, 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 okay. No, no, it's, it's not, it's not so bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't mean to have everyone pity me or something. It's just, it's just a little cold. It's not too bad. Uh, I was only worried that it would start to hurt to talk after a while, but it's- it's been okay. Let's see. Whoa! That's my friend! Sunny! Hey. Are you okay? Uh, yup. Sunny, it looks like... You are locked in a very big cage. Yup. I'm very sorry about that. I was not brave enough to find you by myself. My new friend helped me get here. That's okay. But... You will be very proud of me. I have been practicing being brave by helping my friend carry keys and things like that. Yup. That's cool. We are going to... Bust you out, I promise. We will find the key, and I will carry it all the way here. Okay. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> A low voice. I, I didn't have time to map it to my thing in time. I only have, like, demon voice. Okay, time to get a key. I feel like this will be, like, the final key or something. Whoa! Oh shit! Oh no! no. Ah. Did you catch it from Ali? Do tubers spread disease? Now what the hell technology? I think Ali had something different than I did, and that one sounded way worse. I so I hope she's feeling better. Uh. I'm- I'm not like- I'm not like sick sick, I'm just like under the weather, you know? Darn it. Hmm. He didn't see me for a while. <laughs> no. Is this your first time being sick since 2020? Ah, uh, hmm. You know, I never really thought about that. I guess so, huh? Hmm. Hmm. 
What? What the heck? I got faked out. Are you sure you don't have the plague? I don't have COVID if that's what you're wondering because I've uh, I've been fully vaccinated and I can taste things. So it's not like, you know, it's not like that. <gasps> the big boss. Uh, uh, do I have to do anything special? Uh! I want the key though. Oh my god, this is just like Metroid Dread. Uh, no. <laughs> There's no way around it, huh? Yeah, there's no way around it. I think. I think, I think... Is there? I don't know. <laughs> I gotta get out of here. Oh my god. Oh. That was a little freaky. Thank you for the bits, follower. Sorry! Buddy! Did you see? I carried the key all the way to you. Uh, yup. You did it, buddy. I'm proud of you. Thank you! And now... We make our escape. Hmm... Let's get out of here. Finally. Miriam! You're leaving already? Did you meet the Overseer? No. There were complications. I'm helping these fairies escape. Typical. The castle got bad. It's full of evil monsters. And I think I saw the, the Overseer. But he was all haunted. Where is there to escape to? There's the eclipse. It's a portal out of the spirit world, but we can't reach it with our little wings. You want to you two want to leave the spirit world? Um Yup. We should help them, Miriam. They're super nice, I promise. Well, all right. Hang on tight then. Okay, great. Now we can- ah! You losers! Miriam! Do you have any idea what you've done? Letting more creatures out of the spirit world. Putting more innocence in harm's way. Wake up, Miriam! Please wake up! I'm so sick of your meddling. You're making everything worse. Why did you- why would you do this? Miriam didn't do anything wrong. You aren't listening to me. Yes, she did. Do you see what's behind me? It's the Moon Overseer's castle. But I was there earlier, and it was way further away. The spirit world is collapsing! Three out of seven overseers are dead now. Each one gone makes this world lose stability. It's all shrinking now. Everything is getting closer and closer. And things are leaking out into our world. 
or getting squeezed out. This is how it all starts. The dark ages that will consume our world. I don't care. You didn't have to hurt her. How are we supposed to know not to do that? That's exactly right. You don't know. That's why you shouldn't even be here. What is going on? It's the Overseers. Their personalities are dying. Their forms are deteriorating. They're turning into animals driven by instinct. We have to stop them getting out at any cost now. Didn't think I'd be fighting two Overseers at once. Luckily, I have just the thing. The Potion of Power. Thanks again for getting me this. I knew it would come in handy. Um... Uh-oh, it's the fake potion that we gave her. Ha! <laughs> they didn't even notice us. They're fighting over what little space is left. Kick it. <laughs> I'm not sure if Audrey can handle the potions. They destroyed each other. Guess I didn't need the potion after all. Not much left here now. Guess you can still get your silly song thing, right? It's going to get much, much worse from here. Just so you know, the spirit world is almost completely collapsed. I was supposed to kill all the overseers before this happened, but it's too late now. You don't belong in this story. I think Audrey's a girl. Miriam? <laughs> Miriam, are you okay? No. I mean, I'll be fine, but I'm gonna lay here a bit. Wait. Okay. Right? Was that not it? No? Huh. Wait, I can't... I can't do that. As long as you don't land on the keys, it doesn't count so you can run. But how do I get over there without landing on keys? There's keys there's keys all around me. I gotta go do some errands, but I hope you continue to feel better. Thank you, Bug, thank you. Good luck with your errands. Run on the keys. Oh, don't jump. Okay. Wait, play that again? Do that again? Wait, 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 wait. Tr one more time? Okay. Got it. Ah, shit! Ah, shit! <laughs> no! Da. 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 And it was this one? Damn it! I missed it. Okay. 
Da da da, and then this one. There we go. Okay. Da da da. Wait, and then what? Ah, crap, I forgot. Ugh! Uh, uh, uh. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. Uh. Uh, uh, uh. Uh. How do I? Oh, right, right. I know how to do it. Wait, crap, I forgot again. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I get it now. Okay. <laughs> really testing my short term memory here. The sun and the moon? <gasps> Dream? Dream King? <gasps> Good job. Thank you, Udia. Thank you. Wow, sure looks different. What do you think happened, Miriam? Miriam, are you okay? Obviously not. Everything sucks right now. Well, I can carry you, Miriam. Hmm. Uh, moving along. Hmm. Isn't it funny, Miriam? You're always carrying me around in your broom, but now I'm carrying you. <laughs> it's harder than it looks. I guess I go down. Huh. Huh. I can't believe you've really come here. Even in the midst of this crisis. Is your passion for war so deep? Oh, spare me. You came too. Don't act like you're better than us. Who's talking? Some warrior is at the bottom, I think. War. War never changes. We thought there would be more of you. We have our hands full. There's an outbreak of giant monsters. Maybe you noticed. It's our burden as well. Is Chris going to play Fallout one day? I have New Vegas and I've been meaning to play it. I'm not sure how interesting it would be for a stream though. Maybe if I made it so I walk really fast. You can do console commands. New Vegas? I've played 3 before. I don't own 4. Striking us during a disaster like this? Barbarians. No, we came because we knew you would. Because... In, I mean, we're in a lot of trouble right now. The last thing we need is a bunch of lunatic witches attacking us, too. Wait! Stop fighting! What's going on? Boss! Where did you come from? You shouldn't be out here. Hey. Aren't you that peasant that I threw in jail? Um, you know this hooligan? They colluded against me with my daughter. My daughter who perished in your kingdom. We had nothing to do with that. But you turned the hero against us with those lies. Leaving us alone against these monsters. 
How dare you speak to me of lies? You people love your filthy animals so much. Perhaps you deserve to live with monsters. So you did set them loose on us. How dare you? Only a villain like you would think of doing such a thing. You think we're the villains? Lady, you better- Ugh! From east and west are Voices grow into a singular rushing flow. We're all in pain. Our hearts are a flame. With a burning need to end this war. If we all gather our voices, then our one choice is clear. And it's not this wait wait oh okay we cannot watch any longer while war is mongered on it hurts us all we have our fears we're not the same but no no nothing's worth this suffering every night and day 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 <laughs> Okay, there we go. We share one world. One world and share in one need to live in peace and harmony. <laughs> okay. That did it. That sounded like a war-ending song. Hmm... You... You spoke with the voice of all the people in our two kingdoms. How is that possible? More importantly, do you really think singing some cheesy song telling us that the war is pointless with the voice of the people, or whatever, changes anything? Because let me tell you... Yeah, I kind of did. I mean, I knew the war was hurting us, but I didn't realize how much. I thought it was good for everyone in the long run. But I guess in their hearts, nobody really wants it. Hearing their voices moved me. We failed those who needed us, especially in this moment of crisis. Follow her, I'll see you later. Oh, hi, Cinder, hi. I have a little cold, that's, that's all. I'm okay, though. Thanks for dropping by. We can't afford to uphold this conflict. There must be another way to settle our differences. Yes! Yes! Wait, where's Miriam? Miriam? I'm over here! <gasps> Miriam! You can walk! Barely. I just kind of hobbled over here. I thought I was good to go again, but I'm not. Listen, Cry, I don't think I'm going to make it with you from here. What? I'm in no condition to fly you, and I don't know if you noticed, but things are getting bad. 
Bad? The spirit world just collapsed. Monsters are spreading everywhere. It's dangerous. The next nexus point will be the hardest yet. I don't think I can do it. And I'm worried about my grandma. I need to go home and rest. Oh. That's okay. I'll do it myself. Oh. You aren't upset? Well, yeah, a little bit. I wish you could come. But you're right. You need to rest. And I need to keep going. Because we have to save the world, no matter what. <laughs> Frat boy hug. I'm really gonna miss you, Miriam. Yeah, me too. Ugh, I feel so useless. I came all this way, and in the end I couldn't make it. That stupid hero is probably right. I really am a loser. Miriam! That's not even close. You're so much more than that. You can do a million things I can't. And even if you couldn't, you'd be special anyway. Aw. Gross. Hey, do you two need help? No. Yes! We need to fly. Sure thing. Anywhere you want to go, we'll take you. It's the least we can do. Anywhere, huh? I'll be okay, Miriam. I think... Okay. Good luck on your magical adventure. I'm going home. Tell your grandma I said hi. Yeah. Hop on when you're ready. Is there anything I'm missing here? I wonder what Safi will think, seeing me come home like this. I don't think she'd ever be disappointed in me. Or at least, she'd never show it. Why would she be disappointed? Because I failed. That's why. No way! Without you, we never would have made it this far. She'll be proud! I remember when you got hit by the hero's lightning. I had no idea how badly it actually hurt. I was guilting you for not helping more, and for moping around so long. I'm sorry. It's okay. Do you really think you're gonna make it without me? I don't know if you're ready for what's ahead. Mount I- Mount Iker? Mount Iker is really deadly. And now monsters are spreading everywhere, and you'll probably see the hero again too. I'm worried about you. If it gets really scary, don't push it, okay? Well, I'll try. But we have to do whatever it takes. Right? I wish we didn't. Okay, seriously, goodbye. Get out of here before I change my mind. Hmm. Maybe your little song did channel the voice of our people. But it didn't speak for me. The witches are still a dangerous threat to us. We cannot ease our guard against them. But they're just normal people. Hmm. Besides, deep down in your heart, wouldn't it be better if you didn't fight? No. Uh, Hope Gaming, I'll see you later. Have a good day. Hi, hey there, hi. Hope you're feeling better. I am feeling better. I'm feeling better now. No. Really? No. Really? No. You sure? No. But, no. But what if- no. How about- no. Even if- no. Urgh. No. 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 Well. Alright, I see your point. Maybe yes. Yeah, so... Uh, sorry I threw you in jail. Wait, no I'm not. You were really rude that one time. This is all a huge relief. Well, kind of. We aren't fighting Chandesh for now. But now there are giant monsters everywhere. We're not really better off. After all this time, I did not realize how deeply the war was hurting me. And my people too. Hala, wherever she may be now, I wonder if she can see this. I wonder if she is proud of her foolish old mother. All right, let's get out of here. Time to dance? All right, let's dance.
Okay, here we go. What act are we at now? Act six. Act six. The beast at Ikur Mountain. I feel like, uh, I feel like we're getting real close to the ending. <sighs> I feel like there's a bit of ways to go, but I, I see the end in sight. Shall we do a long stream today, because I didn't stream yesterday? Yeah, alright, let's do it. Okay, this is it. Oh! That was easy. And Miriam made such a big deal out of it. She's so silly sometimes. Um, well, I guess this isn't exactly it. You need to get on top of the mountain, right? Right, but I can't fly that high up. There's crazy winds and storms, so you need to do the rest on foot. I got you, I got you pretty far, though. Also, I'm really worried about Chandesh. All those monsters went loose. Vivian can't fight them alone, you know. So if something happened to me, well, I just really want to get back. I understand. Thank you, Sandra. Yeah, okay. Um... Good luck? Let's go see the beast at Iker Mountain. Huh. What? What the heck? It's an abandoned house. It's an abandoned house. This way to the heart of Aya Temple. Okay. Everyone's gone. Oh, you. What brings you here, pilgrim? This place is not safe. Please come inside with me. Welcome, pilgrim. I'm sure you've noticed how quiet it is here. The heart of the mountain has changed. A dark beast stalks its slopes. The people who once lived here have evacuated. Only we monks remain now. At first, the monsters were many. They came down from the mountain peak. Destructive, hungry things. We tried to hide everyone here in the temple. But after the monsters spread away from the mountain, the beast came next. Its presence is terrifying, Pilgrim. It is empty, utterly devoid of life or personality. A dark harbinger of the end. Nobody is safe here anymore. You are welcome to stay in the temple with us, but you should consider leaving this place entirely. Um, actually I came to climb the mountain. I have to visit the Overseer here. Ugh. Pilgrim, you must reconsider. Nobody has communed with the Overseer in our lifetimes. They have long since abandoned us. They're just sick. All the Overseers are getting m messed up. That's why stuff is happening. But I'm gonna fix it. I'm, I'm learning the Earth Song. You seem so sure. I do not know what this Earth Song is. But I will not stop you from carrying out your will. If this truly is the end, it may not matter much what you do anyway. It not, bleh, may not much matter. Is anywhere safe anymore? We are cut off from the rest of the world here. I've definitely seen monsters. 
but I don't know if they're everywhere. I fear the end is coming soon, and there is no escaping it. Use this time wisely, pilgrim. We devoted our lives to the teachings of Aya. She is a creature of light, of love. But even her love cannot extend forever. Our world is old and weary. Our overseers have abandoned us. We are beyond redemption. It is our time to go. So we are witness to Aya's darkest hour. All things die. They would not be so beautiful if they did not. This is something Aya understands. A world that never died would be meaningless. We should be proud to be alive for the end. We are what makes this universe a beautiful one. We have been preparing for this for a long time. Though I did not foresee it would be in my lifetime, I am grateful. Every moment we have is a gift from Aya. We do not worry for the time uh, taken from us. Instead, I am grateful for all the time we were given. You ought to be grateful too, young one. A visitor, how unexpected! Are you a student of Aya as well? Have you come to this high place to witness the end? We have plenty of space, and accommodations and rations. This temple was meant to support many more people, but they have all evacuated. We would be happy to have you here. It would be a special thing to be a part of. I wonder what it would sound like. I wonder what we will see when she sings. I do not think we will suffer. And I wonder what the next universe will be like. Even though we are not worthy to be a part of it, I hope we will see a tiny glimpse of it. They say each universe is born perfect. We are at its end when discord has taken over, but I would like to see a perfect one. It would be so fulfilling to hear her wondrous vision, to hear her wondrous song. We are all disciples of Aya. We believe in her and in her plan. We have always known the end was coming. We would be fools to not accept it. When it is so plainly before us. In the scheme of our universe, we are like insects. No, we are smaller than insects. We are like tiny specks of dust on the feet of insects. No, in fact, we are like subatomic particles in the dust of tiny insects' feet. Well, you get the point. There have been countless universes before ours, and there will be countless after. It is sad that we are here to witness the end, but it, is, it also marks a new beginning for another universe. This is Aya's way. It is her design. Who are we to intervene with that? Hey now, Wanderer. You gonna climb this mountain? I like chilling with these monks, but I might try climbing too. Maybe I'll see you up there. Seems like- seems things just get worse and worse these days. Are you scared about the world ending? Yeah. To tell the truth, I am too. It's hard not to be scared. Especially for things you can't control. Well, if you can't control it, there's no point to be scared, is there? But the scary thing is, what if you can control it, and you aren't? I really think we're connected, Wanderer. Everywhere I go, you're here too. That's not nothing. You ever notice how sometimes an idea will come to many people around the same time? Have you ever felt that when someone shares their thoughts, like, oh, I was just thinking about that too? It's like that, Wanderer. We're all connected by threads, visible and invisible. And I think the whole world is thinking together, even when we don't know it. I don't believe in coincidences. All the big things in the universe, they're just made of small things put together. And those small things made of, e made of Made of even smaller things, it's impossible to understand everything. But to understand something big, you gotta understand the small things it's made of. The crazy thing is, the whole universe is just one big thing. It's made of all the small things together. And that's why, even when the tiniest, smallest thing, like the feeling when you tell someone I love you, can, you t can tell you something big about the whole universe. Bruh. Bruh. Did the mask kid just confess to me in a long-winded way? Gotta climb this mountain. Whoa! 
Whoa, whoa. This mountain ain't so tough. Whoop! That was my mistake, I'll admit it. Okay. Now, how do I get up there? Huh. Um, 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 um. How do I do this? The heck is morphogenic field theory? Are you- how high are you right now? Be honest. <laughs> like the thread between our lips. Mm. Uh, am I stuck? Just fall down and go around. Mm. I don't like falling when I'm supposed to be climbing. What? What? Little friend? What are your pronouns? I use they, them. Thanks for asking. Oh hell yeah, bird. It's bird time. Uh oh, No! No! Come back. No, what? Does it not have the strength to fly me all the way? It only goes so far. Okay, it can fly in certain bouts. Okay. Uh! Hi, DT Key. Hi, how's it going? Whoa! Is that one bird or multiple birds? Oh, it's multiple birds. Oh my god! <laughs> I didn't know that! Okay. I should look before I leap, huh? No! <laughs> what? The bird caught me. No! Okay, okay. I got this. I got this. Huh! What? <laughs> no! There we go. Okay. Okay. I didn't think that one through, I admit it. Uh. Okay. So I can go up. Okay. Nope. I can't do this without attracting the birds. Okay. Hooray! Almost, almost. Okay, 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 okay. Boom. It's 
do it. Hope chat is doing well. Hi Kirby, hi. Hope you're doing well too. Having a nice relaxing Sunday. Oh my goodness, who would do such a thing? How dare you? How dare you? Wait, that looked like multiple birds, but now there's only one bird? I think I... I saw the beast. I'm not afraid of the beast. I mean, as a monster fucker myself. Oh... Whoop! Huh? Do I just go up? I'm going vaguely up. I don't know where up, but up. That's a that needs to be a quote. That's been a quote. <laughs> no! Okay. I gotta sleep? It's half past eight. Oh, have a good night, Red Panda. Thanks for hanging out. Okay. Hmm. Mr. Monster? Wow, I can't believe it's you. Do you live in this cave now? Can I come through? Oh. Whoa. Animation. So is it a different monster, or do they just not recognize me? Oh, they're different. Singing doesn't seem to do anything. Okay. What? Huh? It worked. Aw, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Monster. I don't like these little bugs, though. Kind of freaking me out a little bit. What? Oh. Nah, there, there's no way these bugs are gonna come back to, to hurt me, right? They're just putting that there for, you know, <sighs> for the effect. It's not like I wanna have to run from them. Oh no! Oh, Bar doesn't wanna hurt them. Darn it. Now what do I do? Mm. Ah. 
Mam, 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 mam. Alright, alright. Pretty basic platforming, I guess. I like that instead of spikes that kill you, it's just bugs that you don't want to kill. Whoa! Ugh! Oh my goodness. There are so many bugs! Oh shoot. Oh, come on. <laughs> Gross. No. So there's no way to cross over there. Can I just... Can I just take like a... Like an object and push them aside? It's crazy how these bugs are arranged in such a way that I have to carefully platform around them. Good morning, Maxi. Good morning. How are you doing? Uh. Huh. There we go. Nice and easy. Whoa. Okay, we're going around. We're going around. Thank you for the pets. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Going over here. I got a leg cramp really bad. Oh no! You just gotta wait it out, I guess. Does it feel like these bugs are running around on your legs? That's the immersion. Oh, the bugs appreciate it. That'll be useful for the Earth song. Oh my goodness, I hate that. This is disgusting. Okay. Okay! <laughs> okay. Squeeze through the hole, and carry me up. Oh. Go underneath it. Carry it over here? Wait. Wait, how do I... How do I do this? Why can't I just get the bugs to, to bring me up? Do it. Okay. I, I see, I see, I see. Oh, the bar doesn't want to step on the bug. But clearly the bugs can carry large boulders without getting hurt. So now that they're all together... I know they'll be fine. Okay, 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 okay. Alright. I gotta get the other bugs on the other side. No! Okay. Join forces! Okay. Let me through. Boom. Up. Oh darn it, <laughs> I was being hasty.
There we go. Become one with the bug swarm. Uh. I hate that. It's so gross. Huh? Come on. What's going on here? Oh, there we go. Okay. How many bugs we got? That's a pretty sizable number of bugs. Okay. I guess I'll go into the platform. I finished Chicory the other day. I can say for sure that it's definitely a game you would like, Chris. I... I've I've been watching people play it, but I not too much, so I don't spoil myself. But it looks really good. I bought Chicory on the Epic sale. Oh my gosh, was it on sale? I I must have missed that because I I was like waiting for it to be on sale because I know that it it just came out recently. Whoa! Okay. Join the swarm. Okay. okay. Wait. Wait. Okay. And up we go. More? Oh. Goodbye, bugs. Oh. Hi, Waste. Oh. Oh, my posture. Oh. Oh, my posture. Oh. Is that the Dream King? I see a crown. Oh no. Look at the sad seal. What? What in tarnation is this? Can I control them? Crystals? How many crystals are you gonna eat, buddy? Oh, I ride them! I ride them! I'm riding them. Wait, how do I control them? With song, of course. Oh my goodness! <laughs> blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so wobbly. Overfeeding? No. Their appetite is insatiable. Okay, see you later, buddy. I hear them whining. Looks like Pod Racer Lightning. Now this is pod racing. Wait, okay. Maybe I can... feed it the crystal and then carry one. 
Here, eat this. And then I'll take another one. Hop on. Do I lose it? What happened to the crystal I was holding? You throw it? No! Okay, let's go. Let's go up. No! <gasps> oh, no! <sighs> oh. VTuber racing game? Like VTuber cart? Whoops, my bad. Call it pog racing? Uh oh. Don't give away your good ideas here. Wait, how do I. You could always join Vapor on Mario Kart Mondays. That's basically VTuber Kart. You can make your own me, me your own me tuber. How do I? What? Are you full or hungry? What's going on here? No! No! Eat! Eat up! Huh? Go up? I thought... I thought that I needed the thing to go up. You can't ride in this specific area. What? Oh, here it is. I didn't see the walkable platform. Oh, darn it. Whoops. Hang on, I got this. I got this. Don't you worry. Ugh. Ugh. You heard you missed Fred RP? I'm gonna forget I'm gonna, um, pretend like I don't know who Fred is anymore. I've made a huge mistake. Did I hear that right? You're gonna forget about me, good old Fred? I just came back from the dentist. Oh no, Fred! Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Whoa, whoa. Is this going to be the next next sus? <sighs> okay. Eat this crystal. Oh. this and okay I guess we go up there take it away no wait no I want to feed you again hang on okay let's go out here first eat this and off we go I couldn't like turn around soon enough because I didn't want to go. I want. I didn't want to go left. I wanted to go right.
Eat. Eat. Oh. Could I have gotten up there? Maybe not. Come on, come on. You can do this. Whoop. Duh! Darn it. It's kind of hard to... It's kind of hard to turn around, so it's kind of just... Come on. I need you all the way out here. Come on. Come on. A little more. A little more. A little more. Okay. Eat this. Now we're going straight up. Okay. This is one tall mountain. Okay. Come on. A little more. A little more. Come on. Come on. I can barely see. Okay. Oh, no! 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 Who? More crystal. Right? Right? Am I missing a crystal somewhere? What's going on? What's going on in chat? Ah, oh, there it is. Oh, I feel like I'm playing Skyrim right now. Okay. I should have brought warmer clothes. Whoa! It's pushing me off. <laughs> oh, you're finally awake. How do I not... Do I have to time it? Oh, I have to time it, don't I? I have to time it. I think I have to time it! Don't! Don't! Okay. Oh. Oh, the wind. Let's go! Huah! No! No! Huh. Now this is pod racing. Alright, no! Come on. What? It kept landing me on the back. Pod racing in Skyrim, I wish. There's probably a mod out there. Okay. I gotta get the big crystal up there. But how am I gonna do that? Skyrim cart. There's gotta be a mod, right? There's gotta be, like, a racing mod for Skyrim. Oh, I gotta play that. Everybody cart. 
When are they gonna add Goku and Master Chief to every one cart? And Rick from Rick and Morty. All you need to do is add racing to Fortnite, and then it's everybody cart. When are they gonna add Fortnite to Skyrim? Come on. Wait, how do I do this? Fort cart? <laughs> cart night. Huh? Wait, how did I just... I, I feel like I hopped really high. Am I doing something wrong? Oh. Can I just... Jump! Okay. Jump! Okay. I'm gonna go back down. What? What? No! Do I still have enough juice to get up there? Darn it. I thought I could have landed on that. Why did I go straight through it? No. Whoa. Come on, come on. Whoa! Here, I'll bring it all the way over there. Come on. Little friend, where'd you go? There you are. Okay. So where am I going? Did I just... Uh... I ordered some ramen and it's almost here. Oh my gosh, enjoy your ramen. Thank you for... Thanks for hanging out, Vapor. Okay. I think I just went backwards. But that's okay. Good. Ramen sounds pretty good right about now. Whoa! Maybe I can fly back up? I'm scared. Whoa! Darn it, I can never do it. Uh, what are you gonna lose? Yeah, alright, I'll try it. Okay. Come on, come on. Hi, Indy. Hi. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm. I think I'm doing pretty good in this game so far. I'm, I've. I'm like, right in the meat of it. I. Uh, I think I'm just gonna like marathon it until I beat it today. I must be pretty close to the end. Hmm. Okay. We're gonna try just flying. Ah. Maybe the wind is too dangerous for me to fly up. Yeah, I can't seem to... No! 
Yeah, into the thick of it. Huh. I'm definitely in the thick of it. I think. Darn it. Okay, maybe I can. Whoa. Hmm? Eat. Eat. So, am I... Is there a way to go left? No, right? Sorry. I think... Yeah, I've heard about Chicory. Everyone's telling me to play Chicory. Jeez. How's Chicory? Have you beaten it yet? Oh... Uh, maybe there isn't anything up here. I think I do have to go left. Didn't see a way right. Darn it. No! Oh, you 100%ed it. Oh my god. <laughs> Damn, I gotta play that game. Whoa, okay. Okay, okay, okay. No, darn it! Ah, uh, It's got two player. What? I haven't- I don't think I've seen any streamers play it co-op. Maybe it's just easier to play games solo. Here, I'm just gonna go around. It'll take too long. I- I honestly- I've seen what the game looks like, but... I haven't even, like... I- I- I'd be kind of going in blind, because I don't know- I don't know what, like, the core mechanic is. Or anything about the story, really. I haven't beaten Chicory yet, but it's within my top games of the year, alongside Omori and Everhood. I have to play both of those games. Oh my gosh, so many games. which direction to go in. <gasps> Wait, I figured it out. Never mind, I think I went too f far up. Okay. Uh. Okay, you gotta get the... What? Okay. Get the crystal. Feed the crystal. Uh, <laughs> no. I feel like this part isn't hard. I'm just having a hard time with it for some reason. Uh. Okay. It's just that I'm scared that once I screw up, I have to backtrack. I'll just get up there first. Do I have to go this way? Whoa! Huh? Well. Okay, okay. The Neverhood? Is that a real game? Whoa! Yeah, I... I- I'm really... surprised how full the story is. It is much bigger 
and more grand than I expected. I thought it'd be like a five hour game, but it's like a friggin' It's like a whole thing. Oh my god. The last game that I played that was like this was um Thousand Year Door, which I never even finished. And I only played that I only started playing that recently, like two years ago. But I don't have the game disc anymore, so I can can't even finish it. Hmm. Is the wind not gonna... The wind isn't gonna subside? Uh... Wait, how... Okay. What do I do? What do I do? Oh boy. Can you get up? Alright, I'll try. It's just pushing me against the wall. I can't even dance in this blustering wind. Oh, maybe I could just... Okay, I just gotta power through, okay. Ugh! Whoops! Oh, wait, wait. Okay. Okay. I'm surprised this hat stayed on this entire time. This is so freaking brutal. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Whoa. What's going on? Furry? Big furry? What? No! No, seal friend, don't do it! This game is about singing during highly stressful situations. Pretty good entrance, right? What do you think? Too much? Stunned silence, I got it. I can dance, though! Looks like you're in a real pickle here. Lost on a mountain, giant monster. Really calls for a hero, don't you think? Wow, you're really no fun this time. I guess that's fine. Let's make this fast, shall we? I'd say it's finally time to unleash my secret weapon. The Potion of Power. Uh-oh. Fitting, don't you think? This is the one you got for me. And now it's gonna save your life. Oh no, wait! Spare me the theatrics. You aren't seriously still trying to stop me from killing monsters, are you? No, that's... Oh my god. It killed her. 
No, not the bone hurdy juice. It's okay. It's all part of Aya's plan. I think. Or maybe I just poisoned per <laughs> maybe I just poisoned the hero. I'll I'll take a little responsibility for that. This bard can take a hit. Um, are you- Ah! Uh, huh! What? Where am I? Where's my sword? Did I lose it? Ah, right, the monster. I drank that potion and- I'll look for a way out of here. Um, it's a total cave-in! We're trapped! And my sword is gone! You! You ruined everything, as usual, and now... And now... There's no way out. Huh. We might really die here. I might really die here. The hero. You can't do anything? Not without my sword. Oh. What about the rainbow girl? Who? The rainbow girl. You know, the messenger of Aya. You mean Ayala? She has a name? She's not coming to help. Back in Chandesh, I told her to leave and never come back. Why did you do that? She bothered me. She's manipulative. She's supposed to be my guide, but she just told me what to do without letting me think for myself. Like she knows better. Last I checked, I'm the hero, not her. A real hero shouldn't be bossed around all the time. If you just follow what everyone says, then you never decide anything for yourself. It's demeaning. You probably won't understand. Ayala didn't either. She'd just tell me what to do, where to go. But I'm not her puppet. It's my job to save the world, so I got rid of her. She bothers me too. She told me I could save the world by meeting all the overseers and singing the earth song, and that I was special and she believed in me. But she doesn't feel like it at all. No, but it doesn't feel like it at all. The Overseers are dying so fast, and no matter what I do, everything's getting worse. When I asked about you, she said... Uh, whoops! I hit the wrong button. Hang on. Don't worry about that little bard. The Earth Song is totally made up, and it'll never ever work. You're the real hero. She... she said that? I thought she said the same to you. I had no idea why you kept trying. Guess it makes sense now. She just lied to you. No. She told us different things. Maybe she lied to you. Or maybe to both of us. She would never lie to me. I'm the hero. She just told you what you wanted to hear. So... She told you you're not the hero? Yeah, she tested me. With your sword, I think. But I couldn't use it. Oh. You must be really special. To be able to use it? I think... It kind of makes me... Jealous. Really? I'm really scared about the world ending. I wish I could do anything to stop it. I want to make a difference, but I'm so small and unimportant. 
you can change things. You can make things happen. But you're using your power to kill overseers. I don't want to give up on the world. It feels wrong to end everything. I wish it was my choice. Well, that's a relief. Huh? With all of Ayala's lies, I thought for a second that, well, it's ridiculous, but... She made me think I might not actually be the hero. Before this all started, I felt like you do. Small. Weak. Normal. Being the hero isn't easy. You have to- Were you even listening to me? Don't you have anyth anything to say about that? Making the world end? You're fine with that? Well, I don't know. It's the way it works. How do you know that's how it works? You said yourself that Ayala told lies. What if that was one of them? I know it because I'm the hero. What if it's made up? You said you were worried you weren't the hero. You didn't let me finish. But what if you aren't? I am. I can use the sword and you can't. Ed Stevens, thank you so much for the sub. Thank you. Uh, was that two months in advance? Thank you so much. Uh, that's how it is. Why does using the sword make you a hero? Because that's how it works. <laughs> huh, look, whatever. I don't care if you think I'm the hero or not. It's totally inconsequential. Okay? Whoops. It doesn't change anything about our situation. We're really trapped, huh? Yeah. All right. You really want to know the truth? I am scared about ending the world a little bit. But that's what the hero is supposed to do. I can't let my little fears control me, even if sometimes it means pretending. I couldn't say that to I uh, Ayala, because then she'd think I wasn't the hero. What if she changed her mind, took back my sword? I can't just go- I can't just go back to being nobody. But now that she's gone, and you can really decide for yourself, you don't have to do it, do you? What if it's the wrong way to save the world? Have you thought about it? Do you still really want to? Yes. I considered all the angles, and that's the way it has to be. I don't know what... I don't know anymore what was real, and what was just stuff she said. But if there's a chance, even just a tiny one, that the world didn't have to end, and everything would be okay, isn't it worth it to try? Audrey? What was that sound? So, are you gonna check it out or what? Beast time? Bugs? Bugs! Bugs? Bugs, Audrey! Bugs are here! Oh, the pioneers used to ride these babies for miles. Yes, Audrey. Bugs move rocks. They are very good. And they can help us escape. So you're saying I have to rely on bugs to get out of here? Hmm. Well, I'm friends with the bugs. But we don't have to help you too. What? You'd leave me here to die? You have to make a promise, Audrey. You have to promise to be nice. Okay, sure. You have to say it. Say you promise to be nice. Really? Yes! Say it! I promise to be nice. Louder! I promise to be nice! And you have to promise not to end the world. I can't. Yes, you can. 
That's a very normal, easy thing to promise. Look, I can do it right now. I promise not to end the world. It's not that simple. The creator of our entire universe chose me to do that. I can't just promise that away. That's not how that works. Fine, but then maybe I shouldn't help you. What? Come on. I'm serious. If I help you escape and you kill the last overseers, it'd be my fault. I could save the world right now. I could leave you here. Don't do that. That won't... Ugh. I promise not to end the world. There. Okay? Yeah. Look, Audrey. I think they're telling us to follow them. Well... Don't mind if I do. Uh-oh. Oh yeah, I named the bard Cry because there was no S for Chris. So, they are Cry. It's okay to cry. I can't believe we're getting out of this. When I realized my sword was gone, I thought I was done for. I feel naked without it. Even if we get out of here, I don't know what I'll do without my sword. I hope it's still on top of the mountain. What do you need it for anyway? You're not killing overseers anymore. It's more than that. It's the source of all my powers. Without it, I'm basically nothing. Audrey, that's not true. Your sword isn't what makes you great. Well, my sword is what lets me shoot lightning. I would say that's pretty great. True. Okay, come on. Audrey, you coming? Audrey? You're not gonna come with? Okay, bye! You're probably gonna betray me anyways. Whoa! Miriam says, why did it take you so many tries, really? I just... I guess I tried twice. Oh my god. It's hard to come up with a good name. I really don't have to fetch Miriam, huh? Wait. Whoa! How come they're not bunching together? Bugs? Do I have to get her? What am I doing wrong here? Or maybe there was somewhere where I could jump. I gotta fetch Audrey? Come on! She can take care of herself. Some hero, huh? Come on, come on, come on. Gotta go all the way back. Ah, there she is. What? Now she's leaving without me? <laughs> Wait up! I came all the way back for you. How could you? She promised. Was there a raid? I didn't see a raid. Oh, um, Trevor! Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry I missed that. For some reason it only showed up on the OBS activity feed, but not the main Twitch one that I've been looking at. Thank you so much for the raid. How was your stream? Welcome, welcome. Welcome on in. We are trying to save both myself and the hero who's a bit of a meanie out of this cave full of bugs. Audrey! Don't step on the bugs! What? They're just bugs. They, mu they might be tiny and fragile, but they're special. Bugs are cool, Audrey, and they're our friends, and you promised to be nice. Okay, well, can you ask them to move? Is 
that one swarm? Okay. Okay. Come on, bugs, you can fit. Whoops. Okay. There's another rock over there. Whoop! How did she make that jump? That's not fair. I guess that's why she's a hero and I'm not. <laughs> Just teleports. Come on, let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Is this an overseer castle? Yes! And I'm the heart fairy. Why is there a castle inside this cave? I don't know! But why is there a cave inside this castle? Oh. It's because the spirit world collapsed. So everything there got pushed into here. Bark? Seems possible. Ugh. Wait. So does that mean the overseer is here? No. He left. All this weird stuff started happening at once. The king of hearts got sick and started acting funny and making monsters. And now we're in a cave and he ran away. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. You're not supposed to do anything. The King of Hearts can't be fixed. The only thing anyone can do is end his misery. Whoa, wait a second. Audrey, you promised no killing overseers. That's right, I did. But then, what should we do? Do you think it's, th it's better this way? The King of Hearts, a beast skulking? Wait a second. Is the King of Hearts the big black wolf monster? Yes. Well, he is now, but he was nice before. So the monster we saw earlier, that was the King of Hearts? Are you really gonna kill him? No, we'll find another way. Right, Audrey? What are you gonna do, sing to him? Maybe, that's ridiculous. That might work! The King of Hearts really likes music. If there's a tiny- if there's any bit of him left, and you put all your heart into it, he might respond to it. It's worth a shot! Yes! See, Audrey? We have to try. And you promised... Okay. Okay, fine. We'll do it your way. Maybe. Maybe it can work after all. That would be nice. Bark. You give me a good feeling. Are you the hero? Oh, nope. That's Audrey. But do you really think I seem like a hero? Yes! I like you. Wow! I like you too! The King of Hearts is really good. Or at least he was. He's the most sweetest, loving, nice wolfie. He loves everybody and he would never hurt anybody. Yowza, I'm so worried about him. Why did he have to start acting so strange? Do you think he'll be okay? I don't know. But we'll do everything we can to help him. Me and Audrey, we have a very special agreement. We're working together now. Okay. Okay, okay, all right. Let's save the big bad furry. This game is so charming. Barkle, <laughs> barkle, bark.
Let's climb these steps. The suspense, it's killing me. Which way am I going? This way? Okay, okay. Alright, alright. We're almost there. Do you really think singing is going to do anything? Yes! It has to. I hope you're right. For both our sakes. Hey! Whoa! Whoa! Puppy. Puppy. What? That's my sword. That stupid dog has it. Where is he taking it? Let's go after him. <laughs> the vape dog. Shimmy. I like, uh, this is my favorite dance. <laughs> I like this one. Hey! That stupid dog! You made me look back! Ooga booga booga! Wow wow wow! Holding my sword over lava? Give it back here, boy! Oh! <gasps> no! Yes! My bird friend! That was close. Too close. This thing almost destroyed my sword. That would have been a catastrophe. He's evil! No, Audrey! Don't you see? He's scared! He doesn't want you to hurt him! That's why he tried to take your sword. But he didn't hurt us. Didn't hurt us? He buried us under a rock slide. We're lucky we escaped alive. Your bird friend has the right idea. The beast hurt them too, didn't he? This isn't what you promised. You have to be nice. Let me just sing. We have to try, Audrey. I think there's still something good inside him. Up. Oh. Ugh. Hmm. That doesn't look good. That thing's just a monster now. It won't listen to us. No! There has to be a way. There might be. If... You let me hit it with lightning. That'll stun it, and then you'd be able to get close. Will that hurt him? Yes. <laughs> huh? Fine. But only because I want to help him. Please don't do more than you have to. Wait. Wait, I have to... Okay. Hey! 
Could you make yourself useful and maybe cover me? I can't charge up if he's attacking me. Okay. Whoa! No! Darn it! I was trying. Come on. There we go. Whoa! Down. Whoop. Whoop. Wait, it didn't work. Did she miss? Audrey, come on. Okay. Let her rip. Oh. Oh, and then I'll sing, right? It's working! I see the darkness flakes coming off the dog. Okay, okay. What does that do? Uh-oh. What? How am I supposed to stop that? Whoa! No! Whoa, no! Ooh. Come on. Okay. Ugh! What? Err, stop moving around. How do I stop this? Ah, oh, there we go. What? I was holding up! It didn't respond. Mm, okay. Here and here. Ah! Uh, 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 uh. uh. Okay, 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 I got this. <gasps> Here we go! Give the dog a bath. That's one dirty dog. What? What? Oh my good. Oh, bleh. <laughs> uh, okay. Got that. Up. Ah, it's hard to get the exact thing on my controller. Okay. Away. Uh, away. Do it! Ah! Uh. Ugh! Oh. Okay. Bad orb? <laughs> Zap! We're gonna get you cleaned right up. Any stages to this battle. It's getting so difficult. <laughs> this game wasn't this hard before.
Okay. No! Oh, jeez. Don't do it. Don't do it! Nope. Okay. Huh. 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 Uh. Huh. More? No. Okay. Oh, I gotta go over here. God. No. No. Stop it. Stop. Stop beating her up. She's just misunderstood. Just like me. Hey. You're the King of Hearts, right? I bet no one even tried to talk to you. But you're not really so bad, are you? <gasps> Audrey, you, you promised. Yeah, well, I lied. But why? The King of Hearts wasn't bad. He didn't have to die. You just don't get it. And maybe you never will. This is just how it had to happen, and I did what I had to do to make sure it did. I told you, I can't just promise away my responsibility. Being the hero is more than that. Then being the hero is stupid. It's stupid and I hate it. And you didn't have to do it. You could have chosen different. We could have healed the overseer and fixed everything and stopped the world from ending but you ruined it. You ruined everything. Sorry. Lil B. No. How you doing? Leave me alone. I don't want to talk to you ever again. What? You're a liar. This is just a game to you. You really don't care about us at all. You don't care if the world ends. You don't care about anything. I thought I could be a hero. I thought I could change something, but it was all a lie to make me feel good. I should have never listened to you. Will be. That hurts. But it's not true. I really didn't lie to you. I swear. Actually, I came to tell you, I'm totally on your team now. Huh? Yeah. I mean, you're still definitely not the hero. But that doesn't matter. You're good. And there's still a chance to stop the end of the world. There's still one more Overseer. The one we, uh, skipped. The Dream King? Yeah. I told Audrey as much. That maybe she should stop. And she- and give you time to collect the Earth Song. But she really didn't like that. One bit. Really? I think she's really scared, Lil B. When I said she should wait for you, she acted like I was taking something from her. I think she really wants to be the hero. Basically, no matter what, she's kind of dangerous. I mean, I love you both, but she's got to be stopped. Then there's no time to waste. Yes. We need to hurry back to Langtree. Right. But first, you got to collect the King of Hearts song. Right. Oh my god. 
Oh my god, what? Wait, how? Hang on. Hang on, what? Hang on, hang on, hang on. All right. Let's use our big brain. We could put our heads together and figure this out. Oh, it's telling me to do this? Wait. What does that mean? What? I don't understand. that right? Okay. Am I missing one? What? What do I do with the last one? Stevens, thank you so much for the bits. Thank you for the 10. Am I doing this wrong? You want it to be louder? I mean, you can hear it, right? How's this? I feel like there's a piece of the puzzle that I'm not getting here. Maybe sing after hitting all four strings. Okay. I'll hit all four. Now what? Uh. Oh, I just have to like put it in. What? Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I meant like, I thought that maybe I had to just like sing a tone after it to like confirm it. Act seven, the song in the storm. This has gotta be like close to the end, right? We're really in for it now, Scoob! Yeah! Like, Zoinks! The world's ending! Oh, this is Langtree. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ooh. I mean, it's pretty. Miriam! Cry. Are you feeling better? Good enough. Is your grandma okay? She's fine. I got to say my goodbyes to her. Figured I'd see you here. Just one more overseer, right? Right. It was so scary without you, Miriam. I met the hero again, and I thought we would be friends, actually. But she didn't want that. Yeah, no crap! But she also told me some things. She's not evil, Miriam. She's just misunderstood, like I said. Coming from you, 
I think that means the same thing. I don't even care about her. I came to see you. I'm sorry I left. I couldn't let you do this part on your own. Aw, Miriam. This isn't a joke. This is really it, Cry. We're gonna have to face the Dream King, and probably Miss Hero too. If she kills him, it's all over. The world is actually gonna end, and everything we worked for, and all the places we've been, and all the people we know, they're gonna go away. Do you understand that? Yeah. I'm scared, Miriam. But we'll just have to do our best. I'm glad I'm doing it with you. You... Okay, let's go. Do you remember this place? I picked you uh, up on my broom here and flew you to Delphi. Oh yeah, that's how our adventure started. It feels like forever ago. Zounds! What a time to see you again! After you left, everything spiraled out of control. Vicious monsters attacked our poor village. They tore up our trees and houses. Oh, it was even worse than the ghosts. Thank goodness Miss Mayor was here. Kiddo, ain't you a sight for sore eyes. Things were sh uh, things sure went to heck out here. Maybe you noticed. Did everything I could for my folks here, but there's only so much you can do. Reckon this is the end of the world Pa mentioned. Did you come to watch too? Oh, Pa, it's so dark out, everyone, so dour. It's bad enough the world is ending. Why does everyone have to be depressing on top of that? Bardling, you look ten times stronger than last I saw you. Not in your muscles, but in your heart. I can see it. You must have had quite an adventure. I... I'm scared. My boy has grown strong too. He's surely tougher than his old man. It's been difficult, raising the boy with a ghost mother. I hope I did a good job. Even if he never will grow up, for some reason it still means so much to raise someone. Oh fuck, that's really sad. Sure had a lot of time to think on it, and I don't think I got any regrets, kiddo. If this really is the end, I'm glad I got to be here, uh, for, uh, I'm glad I got to be here for it with my folks, and my pa, too. There's nothing in this world I want more, and I already got it. That's really all there is to it. Foul creatures destroyed my house. Cretans. They had to move me to Bronson's house. And it got so nasty out here, everyone wanted to stand outside and watch. I was perfectly fine inside, but they made me come out. Said we should be together for the end. I hate moving. Just let me die in peace. I can't thank you enough for bringing Mary back to us, Bardling. It made this final time mean so much more. I would be lost without her. Well, I still feel lost all the time, but it's better than being lost alone. Everyone's so worked, about, worked up about the end of times. All my friends are dead already. Who gives a hoot? Bah. Oh my god. Ruby. What was it like seeing Safi again? It was nice. I really missed her. Maybe it's stupid, but I was so worried she hasn't that she wasn't going to be there. Everything's a mess in Delphi too. Monsters everywhere, and you know, she's so old. When I saw her, I got very emotional. I'm just not good at that stuff. Why am I even telling you this? Don't be embarrassed. I'm glad she was okay too. I felt like such a failure showing up back home like that without saving the world. But she didn't make me feel bad at all. She was just happy to see me. She's the best. I still feel guilty for leaving you. Sorry. It's okay, Miriam. You did what you had to do. Ugh, I hate how nice you are. You really shouldn't be, to me. But you're my friend. 
I'm not a good friend. Sure you are. No, I'm not. You climbed that mountain by yourself, and you had to deal with the hero. I shouldn't have left you. It really was okay. That's not the point. I didn't leave for good reasons. You were hurt. Sorta. It wasn't really that bad. The truth is, I probably could have come with you, but I was scared. I'm scared too, Miriam. I don't mean it like that. I mean, I am scared about the world ending and stuff, but that wasn't why I was scared when I left. Ugh, I sound so pathetic, scared of everything. Why do I have to be like this? What were you scared of? I shouldn't have said anything. This is embarrassing, Never mind. Wait, I really wanna know, why were you scared? Ugh! I don't know, I... I guess it's... scary being close to someone, okay? That's why you were scared? I knew you wouldn't understand, but I want to. I don't have a lot of friends, okay? I don't talk to people, and I definitely don't tell people things about myself. Oh, I'm so bad at this. You tell me things all the time. That's what I'm saying. That's what's scary. This is scary. Sharing feelings. Are you scared now? Yes! That's why I don't get... That's wh what I don't get about you. You act like everything's no big deal, even when it is. I just admitted to, I just admitted to you that I basically ditched you to go die alone in the mountains or something for no good reason and you don't even care. I shouldn't have come back. I should have never shown my face again. Miriam! You shouldn't feel that way. I'm sorry for pretending like it's no big deal. I know how scary it is to share your feelings. To be honest, I'm not good at it either. That's crap. All you do is share your feelings. You sing at everything. I share good feelings because it helps people, but I have bad feelings too. I just don't like to share those because they're not important. Huh? You think my stupid feelings are important? Yes, everyone's important and I wanna help them. I guess that's why I only share good things. Sharing bad things doesn't help. It would help me. How do you think I feel? Always complaining, always having problems while you pretend you're perfect. That's what's scary. It makes me feel worse about myself. Like I'm crazy. I'm sorry. You aren't crazy. I'm the crazy one. No, you're not. You're just weird. So, you really aren't mad at me for leaving? No, I think you did your best and that's okay. Really? It doesn't hurt your feelings at all? Well, I guess it hurt my feelings a little bit. But more than that, I'm really glad you came back. I missed you a lot, Miriam. Yeah, I missed you too. More than th I thought I would. I guess that's why, even though it was really scary, I felt like I had to come back. You're a really special person, Cry. I spent my whole life alone and sad, but you made me feel a little better. Just in time for the end of the world, I guess. But I'm glad for it anyway. I'm glad I had a friend like you before the end. Okay! I just had to say that. I'm done now. No more icky, feely feelings. Back to cool Miriam now. Yeah, you know, we could talk to everybody, but let's go. I like icky, feely feelings, Miriam. But... Okay, just so you know, I feel the same about you. Thanks for being my friend, Miriam. Uh. I can jump. Well, let's try it again. At least the birds are still singing. Or butterfly thing? 
I mean, I like these colors. Oh my god. Wait, I remember this. the other side or go up I see it 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 Sounds so fleshy. What? No way. Is that gonna bring me all the way up there? Possible. Can it go through walls? Oh, it can, but it loses leaves, I think. Getting pretty scary. Mm. Did I mess up? I don't know if the vine's coming for me. Oh, you gotta go back? Oh boy. Where's the vine? Oh boy, okay. I think I need a butterfly. Alright, let's see how far this flower can take us. And then we can figure out what to do from there. Oh, it could just go. Alright. Cool. Oh! Alright. I was scared I was gonna walk outside by accident. I'm so late, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I'm glad you're here, people. The petals are how long the vine can be. Oh, oh, oh. Oh boy, you again. At a time like this, what is it with you humans? Waiting until the worst possible moment to show up. Stuff's about to go down, big stuff. The Dream King's fading, and once he's gone, poof, the whole world's over. You sure you wanna be here for it? You, sh you should go hold someone you love, or something. We're... We're the hero's welcome party. You met her? She's pretty intense. Can't really say I'm a fan. Having your overseer killed ain't exactly fun. Hmm, wonder if there's a analogy you'd understand. It'd probably kinda like... Be if your mom got killed or something. But it's also kind of her job to die. And you're kinda supposed to help. Hmm, I doubt you'd get it. Looking back, I'm glad you made me go back to the Queen of Winds, even though it was hard. We really cared about each other, you know? It was important for me to be there for the end. What? The King of Hearts didn't make it back after all. Uh, I'm sorry. I really tried. Okay. 
Losing your overseer is part of being a fairy. Even though it's sad, I knew to expect it. Talking to everyone here made me feel a lot better. I know it's gonna be okay. I'm still sorry, but I'm glad you're okay. Are fairy parties normal? Like this? Where all the fairies hang out? No! It's so cool meeting other fairies. I didn't know any of them. We never get to hang out. Oh. You just hang with your overseer? Yes! Until they die! Whoa. What? Where do fairies and overseers come from? Hmm. Well, fairies are made by overseers. We aren't nearly as old as they are, though. Overseers are, like, part of the planet. They exist when the world exists. And it dies when they die. The idea that they are separate entities is... an illusion. They are all part of the same thing. Huh. Actually, the separation of all things... is an illusion. We are all part of the same whole. Everything you think is... internal to you... is influenced by external forces. And those forces are also influenced by you. Because they are all connected. And your senses which tell you otherwise are lying. Huh. I don't know if that really answered my question, but thank you. Oh, you've come to- you've come for the end too, hmm? It's a bit like a party here. So fun, I love parties. I wish I could make tea for everyone, but the Dream King doesn't have any. Shucks. You like yours black, don't you? And you, he'd be trouble right from the start. The Dream King was such a mess of an overseer. How did he get to be the last one alive? It's not fair. There's nothing over here? Oh, I don't know if I want to... It won't let me leave, will it? No, I won't. Meow had a feeling you'd be here again. Because of my determination? Something like that. Mr. Dream King has only gotten worse. He spent a lot of time away, avoiding the hero. But he can't do that anymore. He's really sick. Meow is worried he doesn't have much longer. Good thing we made it just in time. Oh, uh, 85, 18, 15, I'll see you later. Uh, have a good day. I'll sing to him. I've been all over the world now. I have every piece of the Earth song. Except his. So it's totally different from last time. This time, he has to listen. Meow yeah, isn't sure I'm so sure about that. But you don't care what Meow thinks, do you? Nope. Sheesh. Mr. Mr. Dream King really isn't a bad guy. Really, really. But he's been through so much, it's hard even for Meow to understand sometimes. Being alive for an eternity, it would make anyone go crazy. Meow just wishes she could help somehow. And Meow really wishes deep down in her little heart that you or anyone could talk some sense into him. But... The hero will probably be coming soon, too. Meow hasn't seen her yet. But when she does, that's gonna be the end. Meow isn't ready for that. Oh. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, hello. You've come just in time for the end. We've all gathered here to bear witness. It's a very special time for us fairies, and for the universe. It's sad, but perhaps not too sad. Everything must come to an end at some point. Go far left? Ah! Oh. Oi. What's up? Thanks for busting me and Mooney out of uh, the spirit world. We had a bunch of cool adventures together here. Mooney's still sad about losing his overseer. I'm not really, though. 
the Sun King's pr was pretty messed up. I guess for me it was more obvious, since he put me in a cage and all that. I guess the Dream King is pretty messed up too. It's too bad. It's only a matter of time till he goes full monster. Hmm. Ain't that just the way. Yes! Oh, it's you! Talking to everyone here is so scary. Everyone's overseers are gone. I miss the Moon Queen. But at least I have Sunny. Alright. Alright. Hi, Maxie. Hi. Ooh, fan art. I'm excited. Thank you. Alright. It's time. It's finally time. Should have threw that sword in the lava. That would have done it. We're just too good, huh? Are we at the final gaming? I think so. This feels very final. Especially since we're back at the beginning where we all started. It's a nice bookend. Let's get that bookend! And not die! Oh my goodness. That's one stimpy boy! That's one stimpy cat, am I right, chat? <laughs> okay. Mr. Dream King. Uh, how, uh, how you doing? Fantastic. Definitely not deteriorating at an alarming rate. Still got my winning personality and charm. See? Mr. Dream King. We really gotta talk. Oh boy, great. The hero is on her way here right now. And you're the very last overseer. If she kills you, that's the end of the world. Oh wow, really? Thanks, didn't know that. Oh, enough with the sass! We need the Earth Song from you. Before you're dead. Give Cry the last piece now. Okay, sure. You will? No. You know... It almost makes me sad. Realizing you will never get it. Because you won't give it. I don't mean the Earth Song. I mean... It. You've traveled all over the world now. You must have seen yourself. Everything is falling apart. Everyone's losing hope. Those aren't just signs of the end coming. That's what the end is. It's inevitable. Collecting some song pieces doesn't matter. And clinging onto the Earth song as some kind of easy answer for all our problems. That's what's sad. This world was over before you even started. That's it? You want to just give up? On the Earth song? It's impossible. Everyone and everything are moving apart. Always have been. Ever since the universe started. Expanding. Decaying. If the whole world could still act together as one, the end wouldn't have come in the first place. Look, I don't want it to be over either. I did everything I could to delay it. I broke the rules, but that made everything worse. The world outside turned ugly while I stalled. People are suffering. Making the world go on longer just isn't natural. You need to let go of it. That was easy. That's the end then, right? Credits roll. Thanks for playing. You! I can't believe you did that, Audrey. Quit acting so surprised. You both did a great job getting in the way getting in my way at every step. But in the long run, it was pointless. I win. You losers never stood a chance. Feels good to be honest. I almost wish it wasn't this easy. 
Ayala told me about what happened between you. She didn't lie to you, did she? She believed in us. If you had just waited, we could have saved the Dream King. She told you that, huh? Okay, it's true. In the end, even Ayala turned on me. That's why I ditched her. Because she was wrong. And if you never understand that, it doesn't matter. It's over. Oh, crap. Is it happening? Ugh! A health bar? No! That's a big health bar! Now that's more like it. A real final boss. You're insane. That means we still have a chance. We have to stop her from killing the Dream King. I know that. One last chance. You, me, and a giant evil boss monster against one lone hero. Pretty good odds, right? Okay. 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 Stop it. Stop charging up. Get out of the way. Oh! Ow! Oh! No! Oh, this is stupid. We can't protect the Dream King forever. Eventually, she's just gonna win. What do we do? Uh... Steal her sword. She can't do anything without it. Steal her sword? That's ridiculous. But, okay. You focus on distracting her. I'll go for the sword. Eat the gay comets. Eat them. Eat them. How distracted do I get her? Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Oh. Oh. Huh. Huh? Oh. Ow. Whoa. Darn it! No! No! So I- I just have to keep her away? But Miriam is so far. Maybe it'll stun her at some point? I got the tentacles. Oh, shoot. I'm letting him loose too early. Keep hitting her. Don't miss. Okay. okay. Ah, darn it. I'm really bad at not missing. Ugh. Darn it. I'm screwing it up at the very end. Ah! Okay, okay, okay. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Stop doing that. Ugh. Come on. Oh. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. Ugh! Eat it! Take the fucking sword! Okay. <gasps> no! How could you? Tentacles, tentacles, tentacles! Keep hitting myself with them. Ugh. Do these just not work anymore? Or do I have to like get it behind her or something? Oh! Wait. Ah! 
Dead man's volley the stars? What does that mean? <laughs> What's a dead man's volley? Like, just hit it back? I don't think so. It just has, like, a set trajectory after it's hit back. Oh, yeah, I don't think I can do the Ganondorf. I'm so bad with these freaking thorns. Okay. Uh. 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 Come on! Eat it! Uh. Am I supposed to combo the thorns with the star? Maybe the thorns can bounce it back or something. I keep accidentally hitting myself with them because there's so many. They can still be used? Oh, okay, let me try. Darn it. No! Stars turn color when they're hit back. Maybe sing that color. Oh! Didn't notice. It didn't notice. Ugh. Wait. Th Maybe? Shoot! It's all happening so fast! I don't think so. I can't seem to get it right. Okay, I gotta get these thorns right. I don't seem to... I think the colors just represent the direction they're going in. I think? You can catch them if you're under them. Oh, there we go. Damn, that's fucking hard. Okay, okay, okay. I get it, I get it now, I get it now. Got thorns, though. Got thorns! Got thorns! Ugh! Okay. Come on! Ugh! Ow! Stop kicking! Kicking? I wanna do some kicking! Don't move. You! Audrey? You losers! Ruining everything! And I actually mean ruining everything. This is my quest. This is my story. Everything that exists is at stake. How dare you try to take that for yourself? How dare you? Try to make it about you? It isn't! Audrey. You're special. What? I said, you're special. Even if you weren't the hero, I mean. Audrey, you're super strong, and super smart, and really great at everything you do. I get why you were picked to be the hero. You deserve it. But, that doesn't mean you have to do it. Being the hero is just a title. You can do whatever you want, and you'd still be special. I really mean it. Let's stop fighting. If you just give up on doing it your way, Maybe you wouldn't be the hero, but I could learn the Earth Song from the Dream King and stop the world from ending. We could actually save the world. Everyone would be okay, and you'd be the- you'd be a real hero. Okay? That's not enough. Ugh! Damn, she got that scarf? 
The scarf whip? Did not see that coming. Uh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Go left, okay. Hamter. Hamter. Wait. Uh, uh. Ring the bell. Oh yeah, I got it. Yeah, I remember now. Okay. You're still in God voice? I know. for it now? Huh? Ah, oh, thank you for the pets. Whoa. That was our dad the whole time? What? Or maybe they just hit it off afterwards.
That's not... What? No way. I think maybe they're both, like, widows and widowers and they just... He's your dad? Did I not comment on that? Huh? Oh my god. Oops, that was my mistake. Ah, oh, darn it! I screwed it up again. Really, uh, really ruining the moment here. Darn it! <laughs> I'm so bad at remaking the universe. Yeah. Wait, was that on it? Gosh, um, Vex, thank you so much for gifting a sub. Thank you. And, um, Fimble Thimble, thank you so much for the primary sub. Thank you. Thank you. We're singing the Earth song together. Do, or, or do you feel all of our hearts beating as one? Thank you for the Omega lol. Is that you singing? Oh! I love the drummer guy. He's all like, ha cha cha cha. <laughs> No, I screwed it up. Uh, there we go. Okay. Left, bottom right, top, top right. Was I doing it? Yeah. Take or leave the bugs. I, you know, they could... I'm not really crazy about the bugs. How do I know what to sing? Oh, it's green, so maybe...
this. Our here. forces are under attack. Oh my gosh, um, Bastard Chap, thank you so much for the raid. How is your stream? Welcome, welcome. I think we're at the very, very end of Wander Song. We're singing the Earth Song to make sure the universe gets saved as opposed to destroyed. And it's bringing us back to every rhythm-based minigame that we went to throughout the, uh, throughout the game. Wait, I'm not doing a very good job synchronizing right now. Ugh, there we go. Come on, come on, come on. How was your stream? What were you streaming? Thank you for the raid. You're doing really good. How are you? You got Mamechi to make clickbait sexy Chester? Yeah, I feel so... I feel really fortunate. Uh, she did such a good job. It's, uh... It's... <laughs> it's the we are fuck... We are fucking under attack, Chester. Wait, did I screw up or something? Is that why I'm doing this part over again? I'm bad at making universes. You're good? Okay. I hope they don't make capitalism in the new universe. Cause that would be super lame. What's with the sickness? I had a bit of a cold when I started, but I'm feeling a lot better now. Okay. Okay. Oh, this is the hardest one. Hang on. I screwed up, I screwed up, I screwed up. How do I start over? Uh. Oh darn it. Wait, wait, you're going too fast! Three, two, three, four, two, one. Do? Oh my gosh, I don't know. But maybe see if it's okay. I I'm not I'm, I'm not an animal rescue person, so you should you should find a qualified person to help you. <laughs> Everyone's just like, oh
That's one pixelated disco ball. Thank you for the boot. Oh, wait, I screwed up. No! Uh, Are those birds okay? <laughs> ah! flying seals. They are good. Aya really outdid herself with those. Those creatures specifically. All the other ones, pretty good. But the flying seals, really good. Bugs? Eh. <laughs> eh, forget about the bugs. Bugs can't sing. Was the bell ringing Dream Kings part of the song? One of my friends is there in that chorus? Oh my gosh! There was that- there was someone else in chat who, uh, was friends with the person who voiced the bard. So we really are singing the Earth song. Miriam being on the front got me. It's true. Falling, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Oh my gosh. I am so, 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 so proud of you too. And I'm also so, so, so proud of Falling. Thank you for the raid. Falling, thank you for the raid. Uh, Aya really appreciates the raid and the resub. Thank you. We did it! Right? Did we do it? I thought it was over. We never got the last piece of the Earth song. I thought so too. But in the end, it didn't matter. But in the end, it doesn't even matter. When you reached out with your voice, the whole world answered back. And Aya heard you. She saw you working, all working together, just for a moment. And it was just enough to harmonize with her new song. What you sang wasn't the Earth song. It was something special that only you could have done. And even after an infinite infinities of universes beginning and ending and beginning again, I've never seen anything like it. That's why I'm so proud of you too. Nobody ever tried like you did. It wasn't even supposed to be possible, but you made it possible. You changed the rules forever. You gave hope to everything that exists. And that's just so special. <gasps> the credits roll! 
Why does Miriam look so grumpy in this new universe? Can't she start over and be like a happier person now? That everything's new again? Come on, Miriam. <gasps> Do the fairies get reborn? What? The fairies become the new overseers? Well, we're here. You said you wanted to check in on your friends, right? Just let me know when you're ready to move on. Ready to keep going? No, 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 no. Not yet. Okay. Well, let me know. I never thought I'd see the day, but peace talks are finally happening between Chandesh and Rule. If only Hala were still here to see it. I'm keeping her intentions in my heart and trying to speak in her place here. It's never easy with Mother's stubbornness, but I suppose that was Hala's challenge as well. It feels so bizarre sitting here and talking to the Witch Queen like she's a, just another person. We spent our whole lives afraid of you. Get over it. I'm not going to live forever. We don't have time for distrust. I need to know my people will have peace after I'm gone. The Sky Temple was destroyed in the monster outbreak. It's too important a place to leave like that. Are you going to rebuild it? Uh, I thought you people wanted the temple. I, I thought you did. Well, we did until it got busted. Maybe we should rebuild it together. Yeah, like a symbol of our truth. That's a splendid idea. It's hard, <clears throat> it's hard knowing what to ask for here. All we ever wanted from you was to be left alone, I guess. Leaving alone is what you got us, what got us into this mess. Where our communication died, distrust grew until we lost all concept of your true intentions. We need the promise that we won't be alone anymore. We are here together and that isn't about to change. So if we are to coexist peacefully, we need to work together. I would stay here for the rest uh, of the end, but I have to go. I, it was a lovely stream. I was here from the beginning. Thank you so much, Mellow Kid. I hope you have an awesome uh, Sunday. Have a good night. We need to work together. It's you. I promised myself if I ever saw you again, I'd capture you and put you back in prison. But now we're in peace negotiations, so your count of your counts of treason are currently suspended. I suppose. I guess that's everybody. Oh, it's not everybody. Boss! You made it back. We were keeping Chandesh safe while you were away. It was tough. The monsters just got worse and worse. Tough for regular old witches, maybe, but not for us! No, it was really tough, though. Yeah, I guess it was pretty tough. But then, all at once, they just vanished. It was a miracle. They probably gave up after we fought him so hard. Something really special happened, I think. We heard your voice from far, far away. Well, more than just your voice. It was something huge. A million voices all at once. Like that song you sang to the king and queen. That's how we knew it was you, boss. And all at once, everyone started singing along. It felt really powerful. Oh yeah, that reminds me. You actually have a really nice singing voice, San. Oh, thanks. It looks like the war is ending, so maybe Chandesh won't need protectors anymore. Yup, it's true. We were talking about retiring our masks. I'm ready to just be a regular witch again. I'm not yet. We could fight crime here at home. But I couldn't do it without you, San. Shucks. They're roommates. Ready to keep going, yeah. Oh my god, cute. Oh no, 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 my bad.
Hola, looks like, looks like we have a special guest in a tent in the audience. Now that the borders are open again, we've hit the road. Or the river with my boat. We're a sailing band. Like pirates? Not really. But look, I even got a new accordion. We still remember your song, too. That's right. Would you like to hear it? Yeah. Aha! Let's go! And a one, and a two, and a four. No, three, and a four. I gave a really long silence in the beginning. My song was so bad. I just did whatever. I'm not smashing my accordion this time. It's really expensive. Wayfair! It's been a time and a half, hey? I'm grateful just to be alive. After all we and the world went through, didn't think I'd ever see the capital again. And look! There's witches here now. Everything's changing so fast. But after so much war, that's a good thing. I think I'm ready for some wayfaring of my own. I'm gonna take my banjo and see the world. Any way I can, wayfarer. Because there's so much to do and so much to see. So what's wrong with taking the... Uh, so what's wrong with taking the back streets? You'll never know if you don't go. Oh my god. <laughs> and you'll never shine if you don't glow. Oh my god. Hello again. Did my flower come in handy? You said it was to save the world or something, didn't you? The world's still here, so it must have worked. Ho 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 ho. My husband gave me that flower many years ago. It was a hard... It was a hardy one. I was protective of it since it was the last thing I had of him. But of course, that's not true. I have all of our happy memories together too. And Catullo11, thank you so much for the prime. It really makes... It, it really... <laughs> fucking... Yo, look at all those, uh, credits. I see Toby Fox. Uh... The flower wasn't worth much by comparison. Giving it away felt like the right thing. I was finally able to move on with my life. Now thanks to Cthulhu11 giving, giving you that prime sub. See? I even left the house. Ho ho ho! I'm in a wonderful mood, the likes of which I haven't been in a long, long time, so I made cookies. I'm sharing them with everyone today. Woof. Yeah, we don't want to talk to the kid. Eh, everyone's doing okay, Let, let's move on. Yeah, let's get out of here. Is Audrey dead? Maybe we'll see her? Yeah, I don't know. Frog. <gasps> Mother! Do oh, ho ho! It's my muffin! Are you finally moving back with in with Mama? No. What a shame. Your father finally came home after all these years. He settled in completely right away. Now I can't get him to leave. I couldn't even make him come out to say hello. That's okay. I don't even remember what he looks like. Oh. Muffin! That's too sad for me to even think of. You grew up without a father's love. Maybe that's why you turned out like this. Oh my god, what? Why would you say that, mother? Why? <laughs> Muffin! Even if you are a very strange... You know your mama loves you, right? I wish I saw you more. And he'd never say it, but I'm sure your father is ashamed for never seeing you. We should all have a meal together someday soon and be a family again. All we have in this world is each other, Muffin. Let's not let each other go. Okay. Yaha, you came back. Me and Kona are doing so great. Oh, really yo, Soy Sky! Thank Rat you so much. Your streams are awesome. 
Thank you so much for the resub. Thank you, thank you. I was gonna do it in character for this guy, but my voice for him isn't really like, isn't really a great one, so. You should have caught me when I was talking to mom. <clears throat> oh, yo, Soya Sky. Thank you so much for the resub. We never would have come together without you. Thank you so much. I mean it. She taught me a lot about myself. Nobody in this town ever believed in me before you, but now it feels like everyone does. It's hard feeling worthless, and it's hard when nobody cares about you, because you can't control if they do. But you can control if you care about other people. Kona gave me someone to care about. I'd never had that before. But once I did, it made me feel so cared for too. Now that Alara is opening up a lab, I think I'm gonna help out there. I've never done science before, but I want to learn. Being with Alara makes me feel so special. It feels like we can do a, uh, anything with her. Pet the dog. I've got a new job now. I'll never have to wear that cruddy happy kid mask again. And I'm finally putting my science degree to use. The factory is a lab now, have you heard? We're developing stuff that's gonna change the world. The Baron may have had some wacky ideas about toys, but the guy really knew how to build a production line. His stuff is gonna take us far. This isn't gonna be a crappy factory town anymore. Ch Chismist is gonna be at the forefront of technology. I can feel it. Chismus? You've returned. We've been toiling away here. After our quest to destroy the factory, we had to create something to replace it. Miss Astronomer, that is, Alara, she had a grand vision for the city. I couldn't help but be taken up by it. I see Miriam is here as well. Hmm, part of me wishes to speak with her again, but I suppose things are... awkward. Miriam and I are on separate journeys. I can see now that it was never meant to be. If only I'd the wisdom to know it when she did. My heart still burns for her, but in a respectful, non-romantic way. In this cold, dead city Chismus once was, Miriam's passion burned loud and bright, but now the people of Chismus are free, and our dreams, which were once frozen beneath the snow, can finally thaw and bloom here once more. It is a new life for all of us here. Okay, okay, I get it. Ah, my old cohort, how do you do? With the Baron stepping down from the factory, I've seized the means of toy production and repurposed it to be my new laboratory. There is so much machinery in here with so much potential. We could use it to manufacture new technologies to the benefit of everyone. That's my vision for this place. One by one, all the stars went out until none were left. I was watching the sky at that moment. It sent a shiver down my spine. I was sure the world had come to an end. But then, all at once, the sky was filled with completely new stars. New constellation, new galaxies. A new hope for us. I don't know how long our lease on existence has extended, but it made me reconsider what I was doing with mine. That's what brought me here, uh, to here. They say that the stars guide our destinies, that some can be born under a lucky star, and some not. I think it's a load of shark quack. Pardon my language. But there's something poetic about a new sky of stars, isn't there? The old stars that guided us are dead, and now our destinies are in our own hands. We get to decide what will become of this new world going forward. Maybe that was always true, but now I believe it. I hope to create a good future. Ooh, this guy. I can't talk to him? Got nothing to say for yourself, huh? Huh, Mr. Factory Man. Ready to keep going? Yeah. <gasps> they evolved. Oh! Uh huh. Okay. Cool. <laughs> the shittiest one. Just a guy. <laughs> okay. 
Youngin made it back in one piece, huh? I was worried. Didn't think you had it in you. Kids like you don't go far in this world. At least I thought so. Bet you've seen some things now. Maybe you're crusty as old Lou now, huh? No, you definitely ain't. The Bard of 2000 Beans is back. Business has been going well. Well, these bozos have been worrying about mermaids. I'd been keeping our bean flow strong. Money isn't gonna make itself. I mean, I haven't always been- I haven't been all business, but mostly. I care so much about this crew. I want them to have good lives, you know? That's why I gotta be the one to keep her eyes on the beans. The beans! I like my job. Kept us going for long. It's so great to see you again. You gotta have a coffee with the crew later. Or, uh, right. You and coffee don't mix well, do you? Well, I heard about this new thing called decaf. If you like terrible things... Oh my god. Why, if it isn't the silly one. Back for more, huh? Just kidding. The truth is, this whole crew is as silly as they come. I've been fooling my fooling myself denying the obvious truth. It's good to have you back. So, actually, I've been thinking about quitting coffee. Yeah, I don't sleep great on it, and it makes me feel anxious all the time. For at boy pet. Thank you, Dozen. Thank you for the 65 bits. Thank you. I haven't eaten- I, I haven't even had any today yet. The sky is exploding with glowing stars, so it hasn't been too hard to stay awake. How do we get otter beans? Hmm, the technology just isn't there yet. Matey! It's been so long. Have you been adventuring? We've been on some of our own. The mermaids joined our crew now. We sound better than ever, matey. You've got to sing with us again soon. I came into this world with a dream. To captain my own pirate crew. And when I saw me first a mermaid, I had one more dream, to see her again. All my life, just to make those things real. And now they are. It's something special, matey. I feel blessed every day. Thank you for the Chester coin. This crew's more, uh, this crew's more than a crew. We're a, we're a family, a family we all chose together. And now my dreams came true. I want to foster their dreams. That's what a good captain ought to do. And remember, matey, to this family, you'll always be, like, a weird cousin or something. What I'm saying is, you can come back anytime. We love you, matey. Aww. Woo! Me and my girls are taking over the ship. No more hiding out on Secret Island for us. We've adventure- we're adventurers now. It's pretty great. The captain is an alright guy, it turns out. He was really weird when we first met, but he kind of chilled out. I like his pirate persona, and I also like being a pirate. It's a cool new direction for us. What's next for us? I don't know. I'd like to travel the world, see something besides just ocean. I hear there's... I hear there's these other ocean types, called like rivers or lakes or something. Those sound pretty chill. What's her name? Her name is... Oh no, I can't see her name anymore. I think it was like Melatonia or something like that. Ready to keep going? Yeah. Oh my god, it's Dr. Zoidberg. Yeah, some of these overseers are better than others, huh? No, wait, I don't want to go yet. Can't believe Delphi's still here. When we left, it really seemed like it was all over. The, it was over for this place. I'm glad. Ace, who knew we'd find each other again in Delphi? Ha cha cha! We didn't think we'd ever be back here, and you neither. But a miracle's happened. Delphi is shining brighter, brighter than ever, and we're back from an adventure around the world. It feels like the spirit is back. We're gonna play some shows they'll, here they'll never forget. Yeah, yeah, everyone seems to be doing okay. 
I'm not sure if I have to talk to everyone. Feels good to be back in Delphi. It's the same classless dump as before, but I've gone through a transformation. I played my heart out on the world stage. I've soared like an eagle. Being here reminds me of how far I've come. I have to thank you again for bringing the band together. Manny's rough around the edges, but he gets gigs. And Ash is a downer, but their accordion sings like an angel. And then there's me. We'd make such a great team together. Well, we make such a great team. You'll sing with us again someday too, won't you? Looks like your journey is about over too, eh? You got to sing with us again. What do you say? Totally, but not right now. I haven't been home in forever. I want to have some rest, but I promise I'll be back. I'll hold you. I'll hold you to that ace. Panda, you're in America. Oh my gosh. Um, I hope your flight went well. The whole band misses you like crazy. I couldn't stay out of Delphi for too long. She's my town. She gave me so much growing up. Maybe I've been all over the world now, but I wouldn't have gone anywhere if not for her. I owe a lot to this place, and I'm gonna keep giving back. Cause I'm sure somebody out here needs my help too. Yeah, yeah. Hey! You're the bozo who saved the crazy raven. Well, things are going better than ever. That band you started is back in town for a show. And my comedy act is on fire. Wanna hear one? Yeah. What did the ox say when uh, to her kid when he moved out? Bye, son. <laughs> Hello again. Remember that? It's the melody you wrote from my candy shop, Skipper. I wrote some new lyrics in case I ever saw you again. I brought the kids into the shop like crazy, just like I wanted. Thank you. <gasps> the bird. Just a bigger bird, 10 out of 10. S tier, love it. No, 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 no. Oh, it's good to see you. Miriam's told me so much about you. She did? Oh my, yes. She cares about you so much. And you made her feel a kind of warmth she'd never had before. She might never tell you that, but it meant so much to hear that from her. She's such a lonely girl, you know. Thank you for being there for her. I had no idea I'd ever see you two again. Of course, I hoped. But the situation was so hopeless. All I really wanted was for Miriam to see the, was for Miriam to see the world and make a friend before she lost the chance to ever do those things. I'm so much more I'm so much more grateful for that than I am for the world being saved. I knew right when we met that you were someone special. This world can be so dark. We need people with the courage to smile and to look out for the lost and lonely. There are so many out there who need help like Miriam. We all need a bit of love. <gasps> Boyfriends. Oh, the human. The okay human. We've met some more okay humans. This witch kept us safe when the world fell apart. We're starting to think humans might just be okay. Only just starting though. They might still be terrible. I think they're okay. It's hard to forgive after what happened with us. That human was definitely terrible. With the scarf and the lightning sword. Oh, I think I know who you're talking about. You know that one? They're so bad. Hmm, humans aren't really like that. I promise. Or definitely not all like that. Wow, did the bard just hashtag not all humans? Sometimes we can be real jerks, but there's good ones too. Please don't give up on us. Where is Audrey? Uh, 
Audrey? Is she really gone? She really died, huh? No way, no way. I don't believe it. Ready to keep going? Yeah? What? You're leaving just like that, Miriam? After bringing your friend all this way? That simply won't do. Ask if they'd like to stay for dinner. You want to stay uh, and have dinner with us? That sounds nice. What is this game about? It's about saving the universe, which we just did. And all these fairies are being reborn into the new overseers, which are like these little godlike beings that control nature. Hi, Rex. Hi. I'm dressed like Flick from Animal Crossing. Damn, Audrey really is dead, huh? Holy shit. That's so sad. <laughs> I thought she was misunderstood. So, this is goodbye, huh? Just for now. But we're gonna hang out all the time. Right? I hope so. Mm. I'm tired. Me too. We came a really long way together, didn't we? Yeah. Thanks for saving the world with me. Yeah. Thanks for being my friend. Okay. Bye! Audrey? Audrey? Nothing? I could bring the bird over to the other side, which I'm gonna do. Okay, let's do that. I know you're there, Audrey, I know you're there! They're not gonna just kill you off, even though you're like the worst. Really? Wait. Wait, what does it mean? What does it mean? The colors? Oh, they're the... They're just new constellations? Is that a- is that really a secret developer room? Is that true? I'll have to burn this into my mind. Wow, Audrey really is dead, huh? Holy shit. Okay. Okay. I guess she had it coming. Access scene select. Uh, scene select. So does that mean I can get the secret room? This is really cute. Okay, does anyone remember the code? Cause I, uh, I forgot it. Oh, after the prologue. This one? Yeah, thanks for being here. I'm just gonna check out this, uh, this one- this last room. 
Oh my god. Whoa. Whoa. We saw hair. Okay. Okay. Whoop. Kitty? Meow. You found a secret. But do you know the password? I'm gonna click the code. Oh, I see it in the thumbnail. Hang on. Uh... Wait. Wait. All the colors are all... I can't I can't tell what the colors are. They're all blown out. Hang on, let me let me observe my color wheel. Okay. So it's teal on the bottom, blue at the bottom left. And then there's pink on the corner. So I gotta do two five six. Two five six eleven. Two, five, six, eleven, seven, two, five, six, two, fifty six, two, two o'clock, five o'clock, six o'clock, two, fifty six, uh, and then uh, eleven. Seventy nine, eleven seventy nine, four eleven. Got it. I got, I got chimpanzee brain. Don't you worry. Okay. Roggles. Okay. Eleven. Wait, what was it? Eleven. Seventy. I forgot it. My chimp brain forgot it. 11, 2, 5, 6, no. 11, 7, 11, 79, 40, 40. Race B thankies for the great content, cutie bean. I hope you feel better. Seekified, thank you so much for the resub. Thank you. I, I do feel a lot better, although I am excited to rest after this. But check this out. Check out my huge chimpanzee brain. It's 2 o'clock. It's 5 o'clock. 6. 11. 7. 9. Uh... Wait, is that not it? What? Hang on. <laughs> Wait, I've been... The constellations change. Do I have to remember the... Ooh. Ugh. The tear is dark blue. Okay, wait. Star is yellow, vortex is purple. Sun is... Oh my goodness. Okay. I've remembered the wrong sequence. Darn it. Okay. It's... Wait. Wait. I got it. Dark. Blue. Green. Star is yellow. 
Is that the order? Yellow, vortex is purple, orange, red. Triangle is red, and then it's wind again, so it is green, and then purple. Thank you, Zazzle, thank you. <laughs> Would've taken me forever. Okay. Uh, uh, okay, okay, I, I remember it. Wait, wait, wait. The tear may be teal? Okay. Teal, green, yellow. This is purple, right? Red, green, purple. Was that not it? It's not it. Wasn't it? Maybe it was dark blue. Green, yellow, purple, orange, red, green, purple. You need to do it somewhat fast. Somewhat fast? Maybe the tear. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Wander song secret code. You have to sing the constellation. Okay. All right. We're gonna get to the bottom of this. Okay, so it's, uh, ah, enjoy your Chester coin. Okay, it's down, da, 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 da. So it's like that, then it's... Oh, enjoy your Chester coin as... Uh, uh, enjoy your second Chester coin. <laughs> Thank you. So it's da-da-da, and then da 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 Whoa, enjoy your third Chester coin. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> Meow Mantis, enjoy yours. Okay, da 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 so it's like da da da, and then. Da, da. <laughs> we got it! Okay. <laughs> that used every single brain cell in my head. <laughs> okay. Meow, you solved it. Uh, uh-huh, I solved it. What? What's going on? Huh? What's happening? What? Uh. What? Love for the warm welcome, Frad Boy Gimme. Aw, thank you, Panda. Thank you for the 200. Where am I? Oh, it's the developers? Hi, developers. Hey, I'm Greg. I made this game. It's really great to meet you. Did you really figure out how you how to get here yourself? Did you look it up on the internet? No, why would you- what? Why would you say that? Huh? It's okay if you did. I mean, I didn't. I just solved it. Either way, I have a lot to say to you. I'm really touched that you came this far. From the bottom of my heart, I want to say thank you. Thank you for playing. This game means a lot to me. I put a lot of love, thought, and effort into it. 
and it, it's really special to make something like that and share it with someone. I genuinely hope you enjoyed it. As I'm writing this, I have no idea what will happen when the game comes out. I don't know how many people will ever play it, or if anyone will ever even find this message. But if there's one, even one person who cares about this game, that makes it worth it to me. So I guess it's not just thanks for playing, but thanks for caring. I hope someday you can make something too and share it. It's so important to express yourself and the world needs to, needs to hear your voice. You can do it. You are special and you deserve love. I really believe that. You can hang out here as long as you want. If you keep chatting with me, I'm gonna talk about what it was like making the game, if that's interesting to you at all. Before I started Wandersong, I lived on my bicycle for five months and rode across the USA. Along the way, I met lots of people and did something I didn't think I could. I was feeling really optimistic about life and humanity, and I wanted to make a game to express that. The first thing I made was the rainbow music wheel, just that floating in an empty void. I wanted to make a controller into a musical instrument and make it feel as natural as possible. When I saw it worked, more ideas started coming to me, then started pouring uh, like a waterfall. It took me a while to nail down the story. I had a plot in mind for a while, but it was missing something. Then I had an epiphany one day, and the idea of Earth Song of the Earth Song came to me. I remember crying a little bit when it did. That was the key to unlocking the shape of the story. My original plot idea came uh, became just Act Five, and the whole world of Wander Song started to take shape. Act One came together within a few months. I've made countless changes to it since then, but it was basically the same as it uh, as now as it is now. My friends played it and thought it had potential. What I needed uh, was sounds and music. I tried recording my voice to make all the sounds, and I wrote some songs too, but the game was asking for better than I could give it. Simply put, I realized the audio had to be amazing. I'm gonna go. I'll see you later, Danger. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, which meant I needed money. So I put it on Kickstarter. The response on Kickstarter was really wonderful. Everyone was so enthusiastic. The game came... Uh, the game quickly had more fan art than anything else I'd done. There were many musicians asking to work with me. It felt very special. Even so, I didn't know if uh, I'd make it until the very end. And when I did, it felt like a miracle. Every step of the way, I felt like I was doing something a little too big for myself. And then just narrowly making it. It felt powerful. I met Gordon through some friends. His music for Parkitect had a really good vibe. He really believed in Wandersong despite the modest funds and, uh, and huge idea. And he, was, uh, and he was local, so we could work closely together. After a long search, I found my musician. M was his first hiree, and Wandersong was her first game. She brought so much enthusiasm into the game, and it bowled, it bowled me over. So we got to work. We made the game almost perfectly sequentially, act by act. I would rush ahead developing gameplay and writing scenes, then M would breathe life into the game with audio. Gord was busy at first with other commitments, but he did eventually catch up. It took almost two years to work to the ending of the game, and then more months of refining, polishing, and fixing. I could talk forever about this. It took over my entire life. It took over my entire life for three years, but I'm going to stop here for now. Thanks for listening. We went and added some commentary notes to scenes in the game. Look out for those if you want to learn more. And thanks for playing! It really means so much to me, more than I can put into words. Heart. Do I die if I jump out here? No, I can't. He looks like the kind of guy that would bike across the country. You found us! Yay! I'm M. I did all the sound design in this game, which means I recorded and edited voices, ambiences, footsteps, and a whole bunch of silliness. I'm really grateful to have had the chance to be part of Wandersong. I think it's really special, and I'm so happy to have helped add something so positive to the world. I'm also super grateful that you've taken the time to play it. I hope you've enjoyed listening. We all put a lot of energy and love into how this game sounds. I think it's, really important. it's a really important part of storytelling. You should dance with her. Yeah. And that it can add so much value to listen. 
So it means a lot to me that to have been able to work with Greg, who really cared about it, right from the start. We had a lot of fun making it together. It feels crazy now to be letting it all go. All I hope in the end is that you've kept some of the feeling that we shook out of our hearts. I hope that it feels good. Heart. Wandersong was the first game I worked on, way back in 2016. It's what got me started in indie games. I've worked on a few since then, but this one has, uh, has been my biggest constant. It's also the one closest to my heart. The themes that Greg explores really resonate with me, and I think they're super important ideas to spread right now. So it's been wonderful to contribute to that. For me, it's pretty interesting to look back from the beginning all the way to the end and hear how the sound changes. It was really easy to grow with this game because we made each act a different theme sonically. Uh, there was a lot of experimentation. Time for some fun facts. There are 5,084 sounds. That's a lot for an indie game. Greg and I voiced most of the characters. Most of the sounds are recorded, so many of those sounds are my voice. A lot of the ambiences shift depending on where you are. There are so, so many silly details. So silly. Well, thanks for listening. Oh, hey, you're here. My name's Gord. I did the music for Wandersong. Greg, uh, Greg helped write a lot of the songs, though. M wrote one, too. The campfire one. I bet you liked it. I'm not gonna lie. This game was tough. As soon as I agreed to work on it, I was like, what have I done? But I knew I really wanted to work with Greg, and that anything he was gonna make was gonna be good. And I guess I must have been feeling like I wanted a challenge? I don't actually remember, but I knew early on there was a pretty big chance I was gonna burn out, or screw up, or run out of music to write. This game has so much music. It scared the crap out of me. But hey, you're here. And I'm here. We made it. 2017 was a hard year for me. Something I, th something I thought I knew was true my whole life. Turned out not to be true. Turned out not to be so true after all. The world has been so angry, and though I, and though I started on Wandersong before then, it suddenly became a whole lot more important to invert cynicism for once in my life. I am cynical, like, I like cynical things. To contribute to something whose sole purpose is to make people happy, but not like shallow happy, like a sitcom or whatever, really happy, to shine a little light for people whose lives are pr feeling truly dark. I'm feeling way better now, by the way. This is the biggest soundtrack I've ever done. It might be the biggest soundtrack ever? It will probably be the biggest I'll ever do. It's like four and a half hours long. The plan was to be really minimalist so we'd finish, and I stuck to that plan until like halfway through Act 2, and then nothing was minimalist. I am super bad at minimal minimalism. I recorded live performances on 24 different instruments in this game. I have no idea how many in digital instruments are used. A lot. Oh, and you know the last big song at the end of the game? The one where everyone sings together? We got a choir for that. But not like a real choir. I just asked Twitter who wanted to sing for us. 75 people sang for us. Some people had fancy mics. Some people sang into their phones and laptops. Some people sang beautifully. Some people didn't. But everyone tried and everyone cared. And that is what Wander Song's about. Everyone, uh, everybody trying, everybody caring, and making something beautiful together even if it's not something y you don't think you're good at. And everyone that said my voice is terrible in the choir was flat out wrong. The same week I started uh, working on that song, my wife and I found out we were having a baby. I don't know when you're reading this. We're due March 4th, 2019, so may we may or may not have had it yet. I really hope it goes okay. And hey, you're here, and I'm here. We made it. We're just people that made this game. You can do cool stuff too. Just try and care. See ya. They got a toddler now. What a weird time to have a toddler, but you know what? I bet they're doing I bet they're doing good. Hmm. I hope the toddler plays this game eventually. I bet the kid's gonna be like, I won't play I don't wanna play a game that my dad worked on. That's lame. Throughout their like rebellious years. Hmm. 
I guess that's it, huh? There's no exit. They've trapped me in development hell. I have to become a developer now. <laughs> They'd rather play GTA 5 on the PS6. They're probably gonna play GTA 12 on the PS7. Uh... All right. I guess that's the game. That's Wander Song. I am so tired and my voice is so shot. <laughs> oh my god, thanks for sticking through this journey with me. I really, uh... I was really like, I'm gonna beat the game today, and I did. Whew! I'd play a Chris Yim game. I, I have no idea how to develop games, and it sounds like the hardest thing ever, so... I mean, let's see if I can actually make films before I can make games. Thanks for showing us Wander Song. Thanks for watching. Yeah, I know that, like, long indie games aren't the most accessible to watch just because you have to be there, and if you miss a beat, then you're completely lost, so thanks for sticking around. All right. Let's hop on Twitch to see who we can raid. And I'm going to drink a lot of water, and then I'm going to chill out. Oh, oof. Okay. I'm taking the ice pack off. And I'm taking the thermometer out. Oh, this is my whole outfit, by the way. Uh, it's kind of based off of Flick's shirt and Flick's leather vest. And, uh, like, Flick's plaid red pants that turn into the hat. Thought that was cute. The hat is pants, because Chester has no pants. Okay. Let's take a look-see. Let us raid. Let's raid Mr. Cordo. I've never had a chance to raid uh, Cordo yet, and I'm really excited because I think that they took a break for a while to work on like real life stuff, like job stuff, and they're back. So I don't know uh, if this is like their first stream back or maybe I missed a few, but I haven't raided them before. So everyone show your kindness, be polite, watch, uh, watch them play Smash Bros. I think Cordo's like super good at Smash, so be afraid. And it looks like you could possibly join too and play yourself. So, you know, break out your Switch. Uh, Panda, I'll see you later. Have a good, have a good night. Um, I'm gonna start the raid. I hope everyone has a really great Sunday. Have a good night. Rest well. Eat food. Drink water. I'll see you soon. I'm thinking the next stream, which is going to be Thursday that Thursday at my normal time, so Thursday 8 p.m. Eastern, I'm thinking of doing a uh, Pixar tier list because I just watched Luca. So get excited for that. I'm probably going to lose a lot of fans because people are going to get mad at me. People who are like diehard otter fans, they're going to be like, otters are still good, but not this one because their movie opinions are wrong. <laughs> Get out of here. So, get excited. Um, and if I get to finish some Ghibli movies, I'll do a Ghibli tier list too, because there's a lot I haven't seen. Okay! I'm gonna hit the end button now. I'm too tired to come up with a raid message, so... I hope everyone has a chill week. See you soon, bye, bye. Whoop!